All right, here we go. Just hopping back in here for some more Seven Days to Die action. And this may <laughs> look a bit different um, than what I've been playing on recently. Uh, the the big like uh, like pit base that I've been working on that like had the tunnel issues and all that fun stuff. Um, I am basically done with that. Uh, there's a few more things that I would like to do with it, um, but I am just kind of like I'm out of save files. Like you can only have four on the console, right? So uh, there are I'm needing to find space to start a new game, and I was checking out this old save file, which I can kind of walk around while I'm talking, I guess. And uh, there's just like a few more things I want to do on this before I would actually. Uh, delete this file. Oh my gosh, all the messages. Alright, here we go. But yeah, this, uh, this is, uh, I don't know, a stream game that I had a long, long time ago, probably about a year ago. Um, I gotta have meds somewhere. Okay, here we go. And I, let me see, basically have I wouldn't say 10, pretty much like uh, 8 or 9, depending on how I looked at it, bases that I could use for horde defenses here. Um, and I do have... a playlist set up for myself that is basically just like uh, base builds, but I don't really have anything in there just yet. <laughs> so. I need to kind of get on it. Um, oh wow, my armor smithing is maxed out. Sweet. Yeah, I need to get on it so that I can actually kind of show what I've done here. And so what I want to do is just go around and kind of make some minor repairs on these bases. Now I had already gone around and streamed like a, uh, you know, a horde night at all the bases and stuff like that. Um, did one where I kind of like traveled around. Oh, I should just repair those. Let's see, 89, 87, yeah, that's fine. But yeah, I just traveled around and showed all the bases and everything like that. But uh, what I'd like to do is kind of set it up so that I can do individual videos for each one, right? And then add those to the, the bases playlist. All right. Should be good. I might as well eat real quick, cause I'll forget. Seventy six. Should really make some golden rod real quick. <laughs> and these are snowballs. I have thousands upon thousands <laughs> of snowballs, cause I built a base in the snow biome. Wait, where's my? Oh yeah, <laughs> built a fireplace. Actually, you know what? I'm just I'm just gonna do the golden run because I need to take some of this stuff with me, and it's a lot easier to take a stack of jars than it is like these little fifteen stacks of jars of water. But yeah, if you ever build a base in the snow biome, you will never need water again. Alright, I'm going to put these gloves away. But yeah, this is a uh, super old base of mine. I should probably wear those. That would be a better idea. Keep stealing from this thing. <laughs> hey there, Mr. Maggie. How's it going? Sweet. <laughs> there we go. But yeah, this was one uh, like I built right outside of the Hub City. Um, has underground tree farm. There's the underground entrance that goes to the tree farm and then to the base. Uh, this, I don't know, farmhouse looking thing was like a later addition. Um, I just kind of wanted to build a something up here. 
yeah it's a basic just uh ramp and barbed wire setup like super old school grand spartan style setup Very well, right on. I'm glad to hear that. But what I've noticed is I have no supplies at the. I gotta. Why is this all in here? I have no supplies at the place that I actually want to build at. I must have been in a hurry. I like threw all kinds of stuff in there. Tools. Concrete. I guess I don't really have a place for this anymore. My goodness. What's in this one? Oh my goodness. What's in this one? Okay. <laughs> so apparently I have like no more room for loot. My goodness. Um here, let me just make a uh let me make a chest real quick. Oh, I can even make it. Here we go. All right. Let's just kind of use this for like mostly random stuff that doesn't really have a place right now. I've got a place for all of my brass and lead and all that stuff. I'm gonna do that there. Um, okay, so what I need to do is grab enough supplies to do the building that I need to do. I don't think it's gonna take very much, but I do need to cart some stuff over there. Oh, I've got some med kits on me. There we go. And I also have a horde day coming up <laughs> in two days. So I need to cart over uh, weapons and ammunition as well. Um, I'll probably just take like one each of my weapons. Not the rocket launcher. I never use the rocket launcher. I think it's uh, dangerous for your base. <laughs> it will blow stuff up. Um, does it say block damage on it? Yeah, 500 block damage. That's pretty harsh. Okay. I think that's about it. Wait, where's my crossbow? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Did I leave it in the mini bike? Thought I heard uh, a zombie. Maybe not. Okay. Let me hop down there. Uh, <laughs> hopefully my crossbow is in there. Yeah, and this one also need repairs. Oh man. <laughs> I'm gonna have to make a backup. Oh, the trap damage, always. Um, yeah, spiders can get over here. I guess I left it, uh, at my other base. I just like offloaded a bunch of stuff so I could carry things back, but I offloaded too much. Um, I could probably use another club as well, I guess. Four iron wood, leather, duct tape. I think you need glue. You need glue for a crossbow. Yeah. So while those are crafting, I'm going to go ahead and grab up my bullets. I'm going to need to make, I'm going to need to make 7.62 rounds. 
maybe like there's two thousand. Let me make like another five hundred of these. I have sixty-eight. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna need more bullet casings. Uh, luckily, I have twenty-two thousand brass in here. <laughs> okay, so we're good. Yeah, this uh, super late game. Uh, he has a mountain of resources. Uh, like, uh, sand I could probably use a little more of, but like I have a chest of stone. Um, what's the iron and clay looking like? Oh my gosh, yeah, I forgot I had like a jillion and forged uh, steel, <laughs> so we're good there. I do need to take a ton of that with me. Um, concrete, I have an entire chest of concrete, so we're good there as well. It is uh, a fabulous time. <laughs> Okay, so that's ready. Okay, so that's not bad. I'm crafting that 500. <laughs> that's 10,000 clay. We're good. Let's go ahead and make a thousand of these. Six minutes? Not bad. <laughs> okay, so I think that's gonna do. I've got weapons, uh, ammunition. Um, I probably don't need to take any wood over there. I realized the. Uh, or I mean, I noticed that the tree farm I had over there was fully grown, so I will be good on that. Um, Honestly, concrete is going to be one of the main things that I need to cart over. Uh, where's my... There we go. Uh, rebar. I probably... Honestly, I won't need that much. I'm just going to take like 1,500. That should be good for now. Oh my gosh, this thing is totally set. Um, let's take that. There's one, two, three thousand. That's good for three hundred spikes. Let's take four thousand just in case. Um, the forges over there might need some clay, iron, things like that. I don't. I guess I don't have any raw iron. So let me do this for like my own safety. Because if I were to uh, fall in my spike pit here, I would uh, not be super happy about it. It absolutely would not be the first time. <laughs> Oops. Oh, jeez. Yeah, if you get the timing off on that, it's awful. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead. Uh, what gun am I using? Oh, I should probably keep a little bit of 7.62 on me then. Okay. That much room left. <laughs> I'm still checking trap damage? I thought I had that. Oh. <laughs> Sorry about that. Little screen shake. Uh, <laughs> I was like halfway in the door. So that... Uh, the game is not very happy with that. Let's see. How much rebar did we grab? 1500? That'll probably be enough. I am gonna grab. I'm gonna grab a good amount in case. That should be good for 600 blocks. So I think I need to add a layer of flooring in. Grab a couple more. <laughs> okay, so we have steel. Um, we have some iron. Oh, we're going to need scrap iron. We actually need... So that's good for 150 spikes. That's good for 300 spikes. We might as well just take it all. So we have clay, iron. Um... What do we have for lead and brass? Not much. I mean, I have 1,200 lead here. I'd have to pump it out of the forge. I have 13,000 in here. 
There we go. I'm just going to go ahead and start making the bullet tips and I can just carry them over. That'll work. Alright. I'm sorry for spending uh, so much time in here. I just need to kind of get things going. Come on. <laughs> Getting a lot of uh, lag because of the, the brass or the uh, bullet casings being made. Make 500 more of these. <laughs> 18 minutes. Yeah, we're good. Okay. By the way, that's a fantastic way to get your uh, gunsmithing skill up. That and crafting repair kits. Okay, so I think we're good. Uh, bandages, everything's good on there. Uh, yeah, we're good. I will need to take food and water over, so I will. I'm gonna have to make a couple of trips. Um, actually, what I should do, because this is gonna take a while, also. And get these shells crafting. Or these uh, bullets, sorry. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, it helps if you have bullet tips for your bullets. Okay. We're going to do that when we get back. <laughs> Alright. So I think this is mostly what we're going to need right now. I'm going to have to come through. I mean, I might as well grab a bit of this. Oh, here's some more scrap iron. That's good. Um... I don't know if I'll need that, but I'm going to grab it just in case. Maybe some of that. I... Mm, I have to take some of that. I was going to leave it, but I was like, just in case I need it for whatever. Okay, I'll just grab bits of that on the way back as well. Ah, ah, goodness, ah. I don't really use this setup anymore. <laughs> if I were to use barbed wire on something, I would make the ramps much different. Woo! Yeah, this is, uh, this is the tree garden for the base. It is, uh, currently empty. Just because, like, having the trees this close to the base uh, it was really bad for it. It caused like a lot of lag issues and things. I can still plant the regular garden, like all that space in the center of each of those areas is uh, just where I would plant my regular plants. Um, and then yeah, this is all connected. There's a door that goes into the mini bike tunnel. Mini bike tunnel goes all the way over to the base. Um, when I get back, I will go through there. I just needed to like run in the base real quick before I started the stream so I could uh, make sure there wasn't going to be an audio glitch with the AK. Oh man. So yeah, the, the, uh, <clears throat> the place that I'm going to right now is... Basically, at a point, I got I got tired of trying to find flat areas to build on, and so I just decided to take over a city. And so what I did was I just went, I found a, a city that I wanted to build in, and then just started, like, building bases. And I think, including the crafting base, like, I don't, I don't fight uh, horde knights there, but including that one, I believe I've got five bases in that town. The prison base in particular is one that um, I put a ton of time into that thing. I love that base, uh, but it just did not work. And after like uh, building other bases and seeing other streamers and uh, YouTubers getting uh, basically doing the same funnel style build, like I think I know what I can do to fix it. Um, 
So basically this is going to be like my last attempt to fix this base. Because beyond that I don't know what else can be done. Oh yeah, and this is my uh, super fancy bridge. <laughs> I had my my first base is right up here. Like the first base I built on this save file. Just a small like spike pit set up. Hey zombie man. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> this is on always run. I was just looking at this last night, so I shouldn't have forgotten so soon, but <laughs> well, unfortunately, I have no space to pick anything up. Alright. Oh, yeah, I forgot. And see, this is uh, this is just a local game. I started this on uh, a local game way back. But yeah, it's just a, uh, just a small spike pit set up. Um, the ladder goes down underneath, and that's where the whole crafting room and everything is. It is a uh, fun little base, but you can't use it for too long. Just not not of that size. Um, oh, I have to wait for this stuff to despawn. That's a pain. Well, we can go look at the base. <laughs> yeah, I got the, uh, the tree farm, the garden. Turn off the mining helmet because I put a lot of torches in here because this is like way back, and I was like, man, torches are so cool. But now it's like. It works for this base, but I wouldn't do more than that. Yeah, just hop right down here. Got the crafting room. I was really lazy with the placement of the campfire. Uh, <laughs> I meant to fix that at some point, I just never did. But yeah, and then I've got a mine that goes out this way. It's a good time. Yeah, use this base for a while. But uh, yeah, if a cop explodes in here, it's bad news. Because like I had this entire wall, I think right there, blown out. And that whole section got destroyed. Uh, so yeah, by the time you get cops, you need to have a different base set up than that. Or just move your walls back. Um, okay, there we go. I'm going to assume that stuff is despawned by now. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I spent uh, a really long time in this town just because of uh, basically I wanted to build a base at the hub city, and that base that I was gathering supplies from is the one that I ended up building over there. And uh, without that bridge that I had. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> it's just like a really long ride because of the water. You have to follow the highways around, and it's like a super, super long trip. Um, but yeah, I just threw that bridge up, and it's 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 not a good bridge. <laughs> it's a workable bridge, but it's it's not the best. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I threw that up there. And it saved me a ton of time just in carting all of my supplies back and forth. It's like right now, especially for this trip, because this one's even farther, right? I'm gonna go past that city. And then we're gonna go part way through a snow biome. And then we'll be uh, at the city that I built at. Let's see, I think once I get to the top of this hill, you should be able to see the city. Yeah, there it is. So it's not too far. But uh, when you're moving a lot of stuff, it does take a while. Ooh, come on, you got a loading game. <laughs> These long trips are a little a little rough on the uh, the game. <laughs> yeah, I guess I could take the uh, the highway in. <laughs> Generally just cruise through here though. And it's like, and I am going to need some resources. Like I need, uh, especially like nitrate and gunpowder. I need a lot of that. I do not have very much right now. Um, but there are a ton of boulders here. And as to why I never 
got out of here and got all these up, I'll never know. There's, there are so many resources out here. So probably not, like, I've got so much stuff to do, like, I'm probably not going to mess around with gathering these up on stream. Um, but I do need to get that, that going. Oh, there we go. We're in town. And it's snowing. <laughs> so here's, uh, one of the bases. <laughs> it looks kind of neat with the, uh, snow on the spikes. Uh, well, there it goes. It melted off now. Yeah. Got that one. And then the prison here, which this is the one that I need to work on. I think I know how to fix it, and I'm really, really hopeful that that's the case. Um, it'll look different when everything loads in, probably. Right now, like, uh, ever since I turned on distant terrain, this has been an issue. And I don't know why it is, because these pits you know, are just dug out, and, man, it is snowing super hard. Uh, this is all the way down to bedrock, also. <laughs> so, yeah, I definitely don't want to just, like, walk out over that. That'd be bad news. Oh, my goodness. I forgot, like, uh, the last time I was messing with this, the zombies broke this out. This is going to need some repairs. Okay, so I definitely need to remember to bring sand and stone... Uh, and some clay. Yeah, this is the uh, the prison base. One of my favorite builds so far. Um, and you'll see like quite a bit more of it as I get into working on it. So I'm gonna have to go in like through all the different tunnels and things like that. Oh man, I thought I could just catch that on the way. I was like, I don't even have to stop running. I'm just gonna go. <laughs> yeah, this thing is. Ah, man, it's frustrating. It's super cool. I like it, but it's uh, a little frustrating. Oh, I should get rid of these bodies. I forgot that on uh, on a local game, you just keep hitting me. Like, that doesn't happen on the uh, server games, which is really interesting. And how that makes the snow show up, I'll never know. <laughs> cool. Hey, zombie lady. Nope, get away! <laughs> yeah, and then we've got uh, this one over here. It's pretty fun stuff. Um, looks like it needs some spikes replaced. But yeah, you can you can actually get like 500 of those wood spikes down there. It's really an excessive use of your wood supplies, but it's a good time. That's good. I would design this differently now. I wouldn't use the quarter blocks. I would use uh, iron bars for sure. But uh, still, still a fun little bit of goody, I guess. <laughs> All right. So I do have like another build over there. It was kind of like a test setup for different barbed wire patterns, but uh, it's not too bad. I'm just going to get into the uh, crafting base. The old crafting base. I haven't been back over here, except for when I visited last night to see what was over here. <laughs> I haven't been over here in a really long time. I think I'm just going to park right out front here because I need to cart things in from the mini bike as well. Yeah. One of the first times I'd ever used like glass on a build, because like this is set up so that I don't fight zombies here. So I was like, sweet, I can finally use glass. <sighs> Construction, concrete. Okay, so concrete. Let's use this first. We have construction, crafting. I have so many headlights. I wrenched down about five cities worth of cars during this playthrough. Might have to move some of that, but hopefully not much. Do that. Okay. Hey, I got a little iron here. <laughs> uh, and I will never do this again. I don't know why I thought that was a good idea, but putting this box right next to uh, 
the forge. And this one's in between both of them, right? So I will not do that again. <laughs> Still wish you could just take all. Oh, you know what? Check this out. <laughs> ah, I figured it out. After all this time, if you want to take everything from your mini bike basket, you just pick the basket up and put it in your inventory. I don't know why I never thought about that. Oh man, I'm a genius. <laughs> a little slow to it, but nonetheless. Alright, um, let's throw all our ammo in here. Except for what we're using. Um, do I have a gun chest? I bet this is a gun chest. That looks like a gun chest to me. And we need... I can throw the clay in there. I might have to move this steel out of the crafting. I guess that, that is a ton of steel. That's kind of a lot of what I need for getting myself going here. I am gonna just like start 150 spikes though. I'm not sure how many I'm gonna need, but I'm probably gonna need more than that. Okay, so our inventory is empty. Character is slightly thirsty, so let's do that. Oh no! Oh yes, okay. <laughs> I was like, I don't have anything. There we go. But yeah, these are all these are all snowballs. I will never ever have to look for water as long as my character lives. Oh yeah, I didn't even show off like the uh, this is my bedroom. <laughs> bedroom slash kitchen slash living room with free space. Um, but yeah. This little tucked away bookshelf, a safe, glass window, which I'm, I'm kind of like to replace those, but I'd have to move everything back a block if I wanted to do that. Yeah, good old space. That's like my indoor garden with a glass roof. Uh, nothing's in there right now. And then, yeah, the uh, mini bike garage. It's a good time. It is a good time. All right. So I'm going to try to make this the last trip. I just want to get everything that I need in like two trips because this thing is it's too long to just like keep driving back and forth like this. Oh, I can go over by this like test pattern thing I was talking about. So I was noticing that there were kind of things I didn't really like about the way that the uh, ramp system was set up with the barbed wire, the way I had it at my base. So I just wanted to check out a bunch of different patterns for it. Um, so basically I divided this area into four sections and then set up four different uh, ramp setups. And I've got like little light boxes out there with spotlights and stuff. It's, it's alright. It's a good time. But that is a ton of concrete. This whole area. I covered that entire area. It was uh it was a good time. <laughs> but yeah. This place is pretty good. Like uh I basically had to destroy the Shaka Messiah and the Cracker Book due to uh building my bases. Oh that thing needs its door replaced. Yeah, this is my uh, mini bike parking area. It's not too bad. Neat little setup. But yeah, um, even though I had to destroy those stores, there's there's just good stuff here. <laughs> That's the only issue with uh, building inside of a city. It's like the zombies will get they'll just like spawn inside of buildings. Like with that uh, pyramid that I just drove by, I had uh, like one of my first horde nights, all the zombies spawned inside the crack book. <laughs> and they were all just stuck in there. Uh, so that was interesting. But yeah, so that had to go. And then the, the shotgun messiah was like, I think pretty much like one block away from the prison. So it had to go. It still needs to go a bit more. 
I left the chest and things in place. Um, a couple of the pillars, the front sign, but all that stuff needs to go. Zombies are getting hung up on it. Need a nice, clear space for them to be in. Sounds like the Bogo zombie sale. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so... I mean, I just... I wish we had, like, more zombies. Because even if, like, a few of them get stuck, then it's just... It slows down the Horde Knight. But if all of them get stuck in there, it's a bad deal. At some point I should probably take these zombies out. They've been they've been hanging out over here for a really long time. <laughs> They're mad because I the only time I come over here is when I'm just driving through, so like that dude with his broken legs has like fallen on his face every time I've driven through here. For some reason the game kinda like sp spawns them in standing up and uh <laughs> just like it's a good time. For me, I guess. That probably not for them. That probably sucks. Oh man. So yeah, I do believe that I'm gonna be good on iron. I shouldn't need much forged iron, that's just to keep me crafting clubs, repairing the machete, uh, you know, things like that. So I should be good on all of my iron needs. Uh, concrete, I really don't think I'm going to need much concrete, but I probably will grab a little bit more on the way back. I think I just need a few crafting supplies so that I can, you know, make the things I need and then pick up all those bullet casings, my gunpowder, uh, and things like that. It seems like we have a ton of time right now. These days just seem longer. I should check the settings on that. I think, like back when I used to play this file, I was on uh, one hour days. Uh, now I pretty much play on like 50 minute days. But uh, it almost seems longer than one hour days, and that's, that's a bit much. I guess it kind of helps with the moving process, right? Not wasting a very much time, like in game time, I guess. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, make the, uh, you should probably make the entrance to your bridge greater than one wide. <laughs> I mean, it works, but. You would appreciate it if you did. <laughs> I did get all all those bridges in place, but I was pretty lazy about it. Like that long bridge that I took over the water, I didn't even uh, upgrade any of the pillars on that. Like all the supports holding that thing up are just wood frames. So that's that's an issue. Oh yeah, and I need to uh, I need to craft a bedroll when I get to that town. I don't want to make one right now because it'll just take up space, but... Wait a minute. Hold on. I totally drove past... Oh, jeez, that's why. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, I might as well drive over there real quick. This thing, it only needs a few repairs on it. But, uh... This base, like... This is the last one that I built for this save file, and I really enjoyed it. Like, it was really cool. It was a fun build. Uh, but basically, the zombies never even made it to the top. So, like, I had, a, like, spike ramp set up. And, uh, you know, uh, a big open space at the top, because I was just going to fight them, you know, like, arena style, I guess. But yeah, they uh they never really made it. 
So that was a little frustrating. <laughs> it was interesting to watch, though. They, they tried so hard. Alright. So this is... Oh, there are two zombie bears out here. Neato. Um... Yeah, this is it. And you may notice <laughs> that the area around here is slightly flat. <laughs> I flattened out the entire area. Like, I took a, a four block area in the hub city and just leveled it. There's nothing left. And I put my base right in the middle of the intersection. Let's see. Is anyone coming? Yeah, she's on her way. Yeah, there's a... I needed to... Oops, she's in the pit. She's done for. Um, I needed to have this so that I could shine the light through here. Turn my mining helmet off. Um, but yeah... The only way to kind of do that was to put glass here, and that stuff breaks really easy. So, uh, that's really all this thing needs is a few glass blocks to fix that and replace some of the barbed wire, kind of repair a spike or two. This thing, this is the most damage that happened to the base. It all, like the zombies were just getting stuck right there. So, uh, that was it. <laughs> that was the extent of the zombies' attack on the base. But yeah, it is a good time, and this gave me the idea of how to fix that prison base. There's just like a one block difference between uh, where my walls meet up right here at the prison base, and I think that's kind of a big part of the issue. And also, I don't have like <laughs> these pits that go all the way down to bedrock at that prison base. There are so many zombies out here. Right, let's go. There's another bear over here. There are three zombie bears and a dog. I am... Oh, and two dogs. Oh, you have no idea how not interested I am in this. <laughs> Although... No, I don't want to... I don't want to start fighting a bunch of zombies. I don't have room to be carrying a bunch of junk. And I'd have to, like, clean up all the bodies and stuff like that. I just need to get... I need to get things moved over. <laughs> But yeah, it is, it's super, it's super fun building in the hub city. Well, like, fun as in, uh, it's never not interesting. <laughs> have like, uh, just like you saw there, there's bears, dogs, ferals, cops, everything. Everything is coming at you when you're trying to build out there. But yeah, this is where I moved my tree farm to, because I was just having too much trouble uh, with, like, lag and frame loss, basically. Because I had, like, all my forges and stuff running in my base. Uh, on Horde Night, you know, I fought zombies in that base, and with all the trees and everything, it would just cause a ton of issues. Oh, there it is. It takes it a little while to load in, so it's kind of hard to see this thing. I'd never fix this. I talked about fixing this entrance so it looked nice for like hundreds of days and I just I never did it. Yeah. Pretty uh pretty good looking uh entrance here. <laughs> I gotta wait till this stuff loads in. But yeah, this was my first uh this was my first drawbridge entrance that I ever built. Uh as you can see it's very very narrow. <laughs> I absolutely should have made that at least one block higher. And kind of throughout the base, you'll see, like, turned off lights. Um, I may have a thing for lights, and I put up way too many, and that caused a ton of issues. So this was, like, my, I guess my first, like, really big learning experience with Seven Days. Just kind of, like, learning how the game functions and what you can and can't do. But, uh... This is where I also learned that building an underground tree farm is not really worth it. <laughs> it's kind of cool, but it takes a ton of time. Um, and I just used wood on the walls so that I wouldn't have to uh, make all that concrete. 
yeah, it takes a ton of time to do, and you can really just like throw the trees down outside. It works just fine. Maybe, do I even still have plants here though? I wonder. Oh yeah, yeah, I could be growing all kinds of stuff. Should probably take some of that with me. Actually, let's take a look at it. Take some of that with us because we have a garden over there. Um, cotton, I guess, just in case. We'll take our food, hops. Aloe, probably not going to need, but we'll take it. I don't think I'm going to need... Well, I'm going to take some. <laughs> we have a tree farm over there, so we'll get all the seeds we need. Mushrooms. Ah, oh, jeez. Just, just take it all, man. Just take it all. Yeah, this is pretty similar to the game I've been playing on here recently and set up. I just kind of changed a few things in the way I designed the hallway and, and stuff like that. But I said, oh, this was like my first go at it. So it was uh, super interesting. Uh, there's the uh, this is the old tunnel down to the tree farm. This is when I learned a uh, a one by two tunnel is like kind of claustrophobic and I don't like it. <laughs> All my tunnels are uh, a bit larger than that now. Whoop! Alright. So definitely know that I need uh, stone. I don't know how much I'm gonna need. Let's just take a good amount. Man, I got cement for days. I'm not gonna take that cement over there. If I, if I need to make more concrete, which I kind of doubt, uh, I'll just set up one of the forges with it. Um. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. My bullet casings and bullet tips should be done. Sweet. I'll do this little by little. Ooh, ooh. I'll, like fall out here. Um, so I want to make like 500, 762 rounds, and I'll probably make 544 rounds. Please, thank you. Um, it'll just it'll make carrying them a lot easier. So instead of like 500 bullet tips, 500 bullet casings, and the gunpowder, they just uh they kind of come as a full package here. Let's <laughs> uh, see, 762s on the way. 500 of those. Sweet. How long is that going to take? 20 minutes? Okay. I'm not going to stay here for 20 minutes. <laughs> I'm just going to gather up my stuff and get out. And so, like, I have ammunition to last me, and I'm pretty sure that I'll have to come back here at some point. Actually, let's just do that. So I'll just pick up all that ammo then. Oh yeah, this is the uh, the horde defense, basically. I have the barbed wire ramp set up outside, um, and then just like a, not a too deep of a pit, I think it's like 30 blocks or something. Um, but yeah, it's interesting, it's not bad, kind of based off that spike pit design, moving it to the outside though, rather than uh, you being on the outside of it. Needs to be wider though, um, and I'm going down. <laughs> We're going down to mini bike, so I could probably leave these doors open. So we have sand, clay, iron, uh, we're making like all of our bullets and things that we need to take. We have our weapons, um, meds, we're going to have to take, we need to take meds. Um, I will make food when I get there unless I have like a ton of something here. Not really, I'm going to take, I'll take a hundred, why not? Um, our actual corn and potatoes, blueberries, eggs, mushrooms. 
Okay, so we've got everything there. Um, what's over here? Oh, we should probably take some of those. Just, I think I have some back at the other base. That's just all soup and whatnot. Should be a good start. What else? Um, do I need any? Oh, I'm pr probably going to need to take some clothes with me. Bet I have a puffer coat over there. Um, man, okay. Let's just do this for now. Because one of the bases that I have over there is in a snow biome. And if you don't wear pants, a hoodie, and a puffer coat, you will freeze by the time the Horde Knight's over. I've gone over there to fight Horde Knights, and it's just like... Uh, <laughs> even with all that on, I have a hard time trying to keep my temperature up. I actually have a chest over there that has... Let me see if this dude needs to eat. Yeah, let me do that real quick. Yeah, I have a chest over there that has, uh, like some vegetable stew in it or something like that just so that I can uh, keep warm throughout the horde oh and I need jars oh man um, let's do this I hope I don't regret that decision right there but uh, I can't afford to take all that with me do I not have any hops? Sorry for all of the, uh, the looking around here. Alright, I'll have to deal with that some other time. No, I do have hops. <laughs> oh my goodness. If I take the beer, I will need less bandages. That's my that's my thinking on that. <laughs> All right, I think I think we should be good on everything. Uh, like I said, I'll come back at some point, but I pretty much think I have everything I need to get started and just allow me to work over there for a while. Yeah, that's gonna take ten years. I should have made the forty-four ammo first so I could take some with me. All right, let's go. Woo, day 601. Yeah, definitely have made all of my uh, mini bike entrances a lot wider since this one. Oh, it's rainy and crummy out. Well, that's no good. How long? It hasn't even been that long. It shouldn't be the uh, the fog. No, nah, I can still see my base from here. It does look a little odd. So it's got like a uh, kind of farmhouse. <laughs> chilling up on top of the base. This is my first, like, super creative endeavor, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> like building something that was purely for aesthetics. <laughs> Alright. Oh, there we go. Yeah, and throwing those, uh... Throwing those torches on the bridge, it actually helps you see pretty good ways off. Like, even if this, uh, like, wooden structure here at the end is not loaded in, you can still see the light. So it's a little weird, like, the light still reflects off of the ground, uh, even if it's, like, the torches and the wood aren't loaded in. As you can tell, these, uh, bridges are of the highest quality. It's really good stuff. It's 
spend a lot of time on this, you know. Put some thought into it. <laughs> the no railings was uh, possibly a bad idea. Um, and it'd be super simple to do. If I would have just made this out of catwalks with railings, that'd be fine. Because the center railings are gotten rid of, you can still make it three wide. But when you attach three of them together, the uh, center railings disappear. So you just have a free space here to drive on. And it's super safe. <laughs> Ooh. There we go. And that's why our speed is capped at 10 meters per second. Yeah, unfortunately, the game has to do a lot of loading. It's like loading in all these towns between, and just like I've got, I've got bases like along the way and stuff like that. So, good old console is doing its best there. I don't need any. I didn't bring like any electronics or anything like that. I just brought some really basic crafting supplies. Mostly I just need some concrete. Um, I need to make steel spikes. That's about it. I need a, I need few things for repairs out there, you know, here and there. But uh, overall I don't need much. All these legless zombies. They just keep adding up. You get more and more of them. Because every time I drive by, they like spawn in and some of them spawn up too high and fall and break their legs or they spawn run into a cactus. So the more I drive through here, the more crawlers there are. Alright. I should check and see what day my vending machine is good till. I've had that thing for a really long time. It's been... Well, it's been probably like almost a year since I've played this file. But I have absolutely no idea where I left that off at. I'm hoping that I was diligent <laughs> in renting that thing out again. I'm staying on top of that. It was a duffel bag. Almost back to the town. The town is like it's super interesting in that uh, there are like the snow biome stretches through it. Like there's a big snow biome on either side. Like I mean, I guess I'm driving through it right now, so you see that. But um, yeah, it kind of is like dotted throughout the map as well. Or the city, I guess. I'm trying to kind of like get out of the snow here. There we go. Yeah, so it just kind of like reaches in through here, down through this way. So this section of the uh, prison base is in the snow biome and this base is entirely in the snow biome like that was a ton of fun this is why i've got like all the snowballs that i will ever need because i this is all concrete like i cleared this whole area of snow and uh put down concrete And this thing probably won't take as long to like load in every time. Like it's just kind of doing that now because uh, I've been driving back and forth so much. But no, oh, get out of the snow. But hopefully, if I hang out here in town a bit, it won't be uh, doing that. Cause I don't want to have to like just like stand there for a minute and a half every time I want to go check it out and go do some work. 
I think if you put a frame down on it, it should get rid of it. Let's check that out. Actually, I can probably try it here. And if I needed rebar, I could just go pick all these up. <laughs> this was a uh, project that I wanted to do at one point, but I don't believe I will be doing that. Well, I really need to flatten this out, though. This looks awful. Um, hey, you know those frames that I left? <laughs> I was like, I'm not going to need these. I don't even have room to pick stuff up. See, it looks super weird, right? Like, for some reason, that looks like water, in a way. But, I don't know. It takes a second for all of this to load in. It's really, really weird. Then you've got, like, it's in layers there. Like, what's that about? I don't know. Alright, same deal. I'm just going to park out front here. Cart all this junk in. Woo. Let's see here. Huh? Go ahead and take care of like food and clothes like things. Um empty cabinet. This is like a great place for gardening supplies. So we'll do some of that. That that that. The rest of it might be in there. Um drink stuff. Move that down. Put all the food stuff in there. Oh, did I re- Oh, no, I just pulled that from the top. I was about to be upset. I was like, did I really just carry 10 meat all the way over here? Okay. Throw the meds in here. Yeah, that should be good. I should be alright with that. Do I have any aloe in here? No. Aloe is super quick to grow though, so I'll be able to stock that up without too much trouble. Okay, I think I'm just going to keep the sand in there. That's concrete. Is this... Let's keep the stone in here as well. I don't really have a whole lot of it. Like, if I were moving all of my things over here, yeah, I would... Uh, kind of separate out the stone from everything. Oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot. I learned a new trick. <laughs> uh, that's how you collect all from your mini bike. <laughs> Guys, we got a bit more concrete. That's probably like way more than I actually need, but I do not want to run out of supplies while I'm working on this. That should be many plenty enough to craft all the flagstone I need. I just needed a few for replacements. Just a few pieces here and there for replacements. Um, oh, these are all seed. Okay. Cool. Oh, wow. I did move all my clothing over. All right, cool. We'll just throw these in here then. All right. That was... Uh, not as completely terrible as I thought it might have been. Got all of our stuff over here. But yeah. This is uh, kind of in a uh, pyramid building phase. Um, and also really excited that I could use glass for like the first time. Not stoked on the uh, business glass look. It would look a lot better with the shower blocks, but, you know. It's my old school base. It's nostalgic, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Got our uh, indoor garden here. It's my first indoor garden. It was a lot of fun. And uh, I realized at one point that these hallways were hollow. They're like empty space. So I ended up turning this into my mushroom garden. So the mushrooms grow. Uh, around the interior of the walls there. It's a good time. Yeah, it's a pretty simple setup. It's like a 70... It is pretty large, I guess. It's a 75 by 75 area. 
Uh, there's a trench that goes around. It's only two wide. It should be three wide, but apparently I was lazy. Um, I do have a tree farm, which I should probably go cut down. And I'm kind of looking at the fact that I have no other tools than an auger on me. Let me see. We got steel for days. Oh no. <laughs> but we don't have any. We have no wood. <laughs> there we go. Alright, cool. What's our toolsmithing at? Uh, there. Toolsmithing, 83. So, yeah, that's not too bad. What are we crafting quality at? 448. I just need a steel axe good enough to cut down a uh, tree. Those 150 spikes are done there. So I think we'll be pretty good here. I had a bunch of junk left over when I this was my actual base. I just didn't feel like taking all like you know two corners, three peach adobe poles, like one garage door. <laughs> uh, so I ended up leaving all that stuff here. I've got a redwood table here. Not easily distractible at all. I don't know what you mean. Um, what does that even look like? Hmm, interesting. I might have to use that at some point. Yeah, I should be good. I got like 1500 rebar. I got plenty of concrete. Um, 23 seconds. Alright. I'll load this thing up. And we can actually go take a peek at the prison. This might be a bit much for firepower just to go work on the base. Um, let me put the AK away. Hey, look! <laughs> There's my other crossbow. Oh, wait, no, I just hit the crossbow. Dang it. <laughs> the run. <laughs> I have no idea where I put that thing. I threw it. Oh! I bet I know where it's at. I bet I know where it's at. I forgot when I was leaving to go pick stuff up, I just threw a bunch of stuff in here. There we go. So this stuff actually goes in the mini bike. I just needed the space. Uh, money. Puffer coat. Poncho, I can probably leave out. I don't plan on working in the desert anytime soon. Some food and some water. That's about it. Oh yeah, the gas barrels. And my wrench? There it is. This thing needs some gas. Do we have any in here? Nope. Do we have, <laughs> Do we have any... Uh, nope. No oil shale? Alright. Alright, alright. We may have a few gas barrels here. Love how fast that is. There we go. Alright, so let me spin around in circles here for a bit, make y'all kind of dizzy. Um, I'm just combine this, whatever. There we go. Throw it on the ground. <laughs> Don't need that thing anyway. And Poncho, you can hang out in there. Alright, we're good. Um, I think the trader chest is actually outside, but whatever, we'll just drop that in here. A bit of extra steel, I guess. And... Make for chop on those trees. Drop this water off. Okay. My goodness. I think that's all the things. Sorry, it takes a, it takes a little bit of time for me to kind of get sorted out. 
where everything is. It's uh, it's been a really long time since I've played on this file. I should probably take the uh, flashlight off of this magnum. It's really not necessary if you've got the uh, mining helmet. I guess every once in a while it might be a little useful, but those flashlights are super bright. Yeah, probably not going to chop all of these down. My goodness. How big is this thing? One, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's not like too bad. That's still a lot of trees. Um, so I'm just gonna chop down some of them. I just need a little bit of wood for crafting. Since I knew these were already grown, I didn't want to uh, take the time to bring a bunch of stacks of wood over here. I'm just trying to cut down on the amount of driving I had to do as much as possible. Not too bad. Definitely faster with the chainsaw, but this is uh, way quieter. Because <laughs> I will, I'll also need to. Uh, I need to make more wood spikes for that snow biome base. Probably not many, maybe just like a hundred or so. And I guess that sounds like a lot, but um, I mean, yeah, you can fit like 500 spikes underneath that thing. And it is a huge waste of resources. <laughs> it's a great time. Uh, you can use you can use that base probably at least like three or four times before you have to refill it, though. And that's why I, I've got like 40 trees out here. Alright, this should be good. I'll make this the last row. Just do half of it now, maybe I'll come back and cut half of it at some other point. I guess like running and trying to replant these is not the best things to do. Uh, it is possible to like plant on top of a plate. <laughs> uh, the game just kind of gets confused as to where you're trying to plant it because you're just running along and it clips into the plate. Um, you can get rid of it by just cutting it down, which it still has the uh, full sound effect for a full grown tree, so that's interesting. Um, but yeah, you just get the uh, seed back and plant it in the appropriate space. Cool. All right. Yeah, this should have been three wide. Man, they busted out my wall over there. I need to put stuff on there. Yeah, I only made it two, and so basically the zombies can hit the walls. They can, it's really weird. Like I also, man, see this is why I do things different now. Um, I did not smooth that out, make it concrete all the way down. And so sometimes what that, what'll happen is like the zombies will come running, they'll run into the wall, but their feet will catch right there on this edge. And then they can just stand there and, and beat on the wall. So they don't actually fall into the pit sometimes. So uh, definitely there's another base of many lessons learned. <laughs> Which I guess when I head over to the prison, I may have to do some upgrading like that as well.
All right. That's not too bad. Take a little bit of that over there with us. Um, I'm just going to throw it in here. I'm going to take the axe as well because I'm probably going to need to cut some stuff down. Let's just... Uh... Oh yeah, I have the 20 uh, pine seeds. I guess I don't need those, do I? Watch, I probably got like a million of them in here. Well, I guess I probably do at the other base. Don't I? All right. So that's good. Um, go ahead and do that for now. Let's just grab the rebar, some concrete. I, I'm like, I'm looking at the steel chest and like thinking that I need concrete as well. Um, leave four here. Take all of that. Um, did I grab those spikes up yet? 150 spikes, and I should have a workbench over there. If not, I'll come back and grab this one, because I'm going to need to make more spikes. Two concrete blocks, yes, let's carry those. Um, I think you need cobblestone to repair flagstone, but I'm also going to need the uh, sandstone and brass, apparently. Uh, sandstone and clay get that out there this that should be good that's good for 600 blocks so it'll at least be a start and then we can kind of figure out what we need from there food and water is what we need This will work, this will work, never mind. <laughs> keep concrete in here. Oh, you know what? I don't even have the water. Never mind, put it back! <laughs> I guess we're just getting the supplies ready. Um, what I can do is take this fat stack of jars and all these snowballs and. A stack of wood? A stack of wood? A stack of wood. No. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. Moving back into an old base is uh, rather interesting at times. Especially one that's missing most of its resources. Let's do... Let's just go ahead and do that. I'll have enough to make anything I want for a while. I'm gonna make a mess of that when we get back here. Alrighty. Should probably grab my concrete. As tasty as that stuff will be later, um, I kinda need to take it with me. two workbenches right here. I'm going to take one with me. <clears throat> so I don't feel like having to like drive back over here just because I need this. Alright. Good. Good. Assemble this thing. I want this thing off. And you can hang out with the poncho. Alright, so let's go take a look at this place. I guarantee there will be some augering. Um, basically, I have to <clears throat> I have to widen the pit one more block. 
I think it is just like one block over the line that it needs to be for uh, getting the zombies to funnel into uh, the main pit. But also, <clears throat> I still have all of this stuff left over from the, uh, the shotgun messiah that used to be there. So all of that stuff might have to come down. Just in case they get up here before I'm done uh, dropping things off. Let's see, do I still have... I guess we can just use this, right? Oh, <laughs> I was using this, and I've already got supplies in it. Good show. What else do we got? Nothing? No chest out here? Oh, I've got a bed. Okay, so this was my... Oh, that's right. Back in the day, this was like my old uh, temporary work site. So let's just do that. We'll just do it again. Set this here. And we'll make a uh, nothing because we don't have any wood. <laughs> Alright. So right now. <laughs> Wrong door. So you can like totally reach through these uh, prison doors, and I didn't really realize that until later. They are pretty cool. Yeah, it's a bit of an issue. Nothing too serious, so. That'll keep the Zambias from getting in here. Now... I actually make two of these. Because I'm going to need one for zombie junk. Because I know they're going to come in here and mess with me. It's impossible to do any building and not have zombies stop by. Is that floating? Oh, goodness. Alright, nobody ever saw that. Uh, from right here, it is absolutely not floating. Ugh. Um, yeah. Let's put all of our, not that, <laughs> all of our construction supplies in here. Uh, we can hold on to the gas. We're going to need that right away. And let's move all of that together. Right. So what I need to do is go look at the spike pit. And best way for now. Oh jeez. Let me go ahead and get on top here. Wait, right, that's too far. And I basically you'll notice I try to close the doors. Like every time I go through a door, I close it. Uh, just because there are so many doors in this space. Um, that if I start leaving them open, we're going to have issues. Okay, so definitely a body down there still, which I need to get rid of. But yeah, this is, uh, oh, don't fall off. Alright, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> this is the top-down view. Um, as I say, I'm not going to do it, I'm still trying. There we go. So yeah, I just basically just dug out the uh, prison from uh, surface to bedrock all the way down there. It's my first attempt to use sod. It's very awkward looking, I have not done so since. Um, but yeah, you can see there's a few places that need repairs. Um, I do like that you can see my other base from here. <laughs> I can see it right next to it. So, yeah, there's some stuff that needs to be worked out. Um, as you can see, all of these lights are turned off. I used to have all of these on, and in total, there's roughly around like 230 lights in the base. Um, and the console cannot handle that. Absolutely cannot handle it. So, uh, I was definitely having issues with uh, the game just crashing on me. Alright, so this is it's two blocks wide, three blocks for that. But this is the issue right here. Um, let me just hop down here. 
So this block right here, I think is what it's doing, is giving the zombies the idea that they can run across, like into this way, and then it's having them fall in the pit here. Uh, this needs to go. At my other funnel base, I was looking at, uh, it, was like, it was a Grand Spartan video, and I was kind of seeing how he built it, and his path, or basically, yeah, like the path right out here stops at this block. Um, so I think this is messing with the AI, thinking that they can run through here. So the goal is to take this off. Dig down to where the spike pit is, which you can see this on uh, this side, the spike pit is not very deep, so... <clears throat> Should not take very long. Excuse me. Oh yeah, I guess we can look over the... Uh, it's kind of fun looking over the edge here as well. It's a good time. But yeah, I ended up having to put spikes on top of this. Because this was before I knew that the uh, zombies would run over the edge and just kind of stand in the air and then fall. Like, it's a really, really weird thing. It's like very Looney Tunes style is what it looks like to me. But yeah, that allows them to, like, land on this ledge here. And this also has to be low enough that the zombies can see me down there. If I had it any higher, they couldn't see me because the zombies can't see through glass, which I did not know when I originally built that either. <laughs> so... <laughs> Like I said, uh, many, many lessons learned on playing through this. Um, okay, so we're good. Oh, jeez. Yeah, let's let's take these now. We're going to take those splints with us right now because we are most likely going to need those. Need some of that. We have our axe. All right. So as unfortunate as it is, I think one of my uh, first tasks is going to be removing uh, the Shaka Messiah. Really, really bummed about it. Um, I did everything I could to save it, you know, I save the front sign here. I did have to replace one of the blocks. That, we can't craft cloth in that color, like cloth blocks in that color, which is really irritating. But uh, yeah, the zombies just get hung up on this stuff, and it's not cool. I was trying to save what I could. I'm really bummed that I'm gonna I'm gonna break out these chests, so you can still loot everything. Um, I mean, this is just how the store is set up, so uh, it's gotta it's all gotta go. So let's get in and do that. I guess I can kind of show you this though. Basically, I tried to keep as much of the prison as I could, so I saved some of the uh, top cells. Yeah, I ended up putting a. Uh, like a glass floor observation deck in the second story of the prison. This is super fun. Um, since I'm the only one who plays on here, it's like uh, I won't ever be able to like look down there. I guess I could stand up here and just watch the zombies, but oh yeah, that's uh. Wait, is there no door here? No, there's no door here. It's not super useful for me to do that. Okay, cool. I thought I was gonna break my leg right away. Like this will be the way to kick things off, right? Um, and it is very, very tricky to take things off of my belt here, because this is like the settings are to always run, and so if zombies spawn in here, it's like I gotta be ready to go right away. And whenever I take down a place like this, I do go through and like you know, loot everything, um, like, I'll wrench down all of the electronics and, uh, everything like that. Uh, poor empty filing cabinet. Did you get anything from that? There's some scrap? Alright. So we got, uh, we have a friend hanging out over there. Hopefully they, uh, stay there. Really? Eight plastic? This is the last time I'm gonna loot you, and that's all you are gonna give me? Come now. 567 uh, AK parts, 539 stock. All right, see now this chest was serious. Like I'm tempted to leave that one here. <laughs> All right, and you're gone, and you're gone, and you're gone. This is like probably the, one of the most like brutal things I've ever done in this game. I feel kind of bad about it, to be honest. You gotta go.
Oh, neat. <laughs> so that's how you make that counter. So can you make a, like, granite, like, slab, like a granite plate? It just looks like it connects the... I don't think we can make those. That's unfortunate. Chop on that, chop on that. Oh. Oh, that's right, there was like a uh, concrete block on top or something. Alright. Man, I really don't want to do this. I was so happy that I got to save this thing. that down. Oh yeah, cool. But we don't have any frames on us, do we? <laughs> Woo! That was a little too high. Hey there, Miss Mel. I, think, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> Welcome. I guess we just uh, take out the bottom block, huh? Make this easy on ourselves. Alright, what kind of space do we got? Uh, I don't need one glass or two wood. Let's go ahead and drop those. Might as well just read that. Get it out of the way. Hunting rifle, pistol. Shotgun, shotgun. Okay, nothing we can combine. We can combine these. Oh, I got it. Right on. <laughs> yeah, we are basically just giving giving ourselves one last chance. There we go. To try and get this base to work. This was uh, a super old funnel base that I built, like a funnel design system, and I really like this base. Like, I took a ton of time to work on this. Uh, unfortunately, the lights didn't work out because it's just way too much for the game, the console to handle. But yeah, um, it never, I was never quite able to get it to work on Horde Night. I got it to work for uh, Screamer Hordes. Like, I would sit down there and summon in Screamers, but I've never been able to get it to work on a Horde Night, which is always weird. So kind of what I think is in need of happening is all of this stuff needs to go. Unfortunately, the uh, I tried to hold on to as much of the shotgun missile as I could, but the zombies still get caught up on this, so we're just going to cut that down real quick. <laughs> yeah, we tried we tried to save it, but uh, like I said the zombies were just get caught up on it. The same thing happened over here. It's painful to see. Yeah, it is. But yeah, this one also, like the uh, I tried to save the crack of book as much as I could. The zombies do keep spawning in here from time to time. Um, i just it's really hard for me to get rid of a crack of book, but yeah, it's been getting pretty wrecked. But it works out alright. They don't get stuck over here too much. And if I get lucky, I can land an exploding crossbow bolt over here to take them out. Get a fresh spawn on the zombie. But yeah. yeah. What I was talking about for the base is I think this is the issue with it. On the funnel design build that I have in the Hub City, uh, I, I watched a Grand Spartan video for some, <laughs> some extra knowledge here. 
But yeah, this block needs to go away because it's like it's on the wrong side of the wall basically. Like it should end right here in front of it. So I need to go around and take that off. And so that is the project. And we have one day until the horde night. Then I'll probably I don't know, I guess take on the horde there, but yeah, I have a base here, here, or here that I could take on the the Horde Knight. I'm working on this one and then this one is my crafting base. So this is basically like my my own little city. Um, yeah. But it's a good time. We got we got stuff going on. Oops. Oh man. I know a little bit. I've definitely learned a ton by watching other people. But yeah, I do feel that I learned a lot in this playthrough. Just kind of like building this whole base. Uh, actually, a lot of the bases. I just felt like uh, I learned so much about this game. But definitely had time. Like, it's day 600. So. If some zombies spawn right now, this is going to be bad. <laughs> I'll just jump into the pit, they'll never follow me down there, right? We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Alright, so I think the first thing that I should probably do is go drop off all of this junk that I'm carrying. Um, oh, and land right in my barbed wire. Good times. Yeah, go drop all this off and pick up some frames because I need to close this off because I don't want to be like working here and have a bunch of bo like zombies start falling into that pit um, I guess this is the fastest way I should just stack up frames and like climb over my own railings I did that for a really long time until I put this entrance in <laughs> I may or may not have broken my leg uh, several times <laughs> on this build. Let's do that. Yeah, this is all just crafting stuff. Let's throw all of that in there. That should be good. I'm just carrying, like, well, of course, splints because I, I'm pretty sure that I'll be breaking my leg. And then just, like, a bunch of gas barrels. Um,. All my oil shale apparently is at my other base. I'm pretty much just kind of like moving back over to this side of the map to uh, work on this base. Jump! Jump! Alright. Yeah, see? That's why I didn't hop down there. I forgot frames. <laughs> the thing that I went in there for. I guess I could probably leave that thing open. Let's just grab... Um, Let's just grab some wood right now, because I don't want to be using my rebar frames. I only brought 1,500 with me, and it probably won't be enough. But I'll, I'll end up getting some uh, supplies. Like I need to get some iron and stuff for the forge, um, and then I can just craft some rebar while I'm here. Alright, so about to get into some... Uh, a serious augering action. Oh, and this is gonna be it's gonna be a little rough trying to get all of these picked up. Hmm. Maybe we just go for it. <laughs> Talking about all the lessons that I've learned along the way, and I'm just like, ah, screw those lessons. Let's just go for it. Oops. Oh, this only has 500 hit points. Well, that was a nice uh, introduction to all the work we're about to do, because the rest is <laughs> the rest is reinforced concrete. So, good luck. Great time to uh, grab a drink of water. Oops. And I seem to remember. Yeah, it seems like on this game, because it's just a local game, like. 
you can run that auger all day, and it's like really hard to get screamers to show up in your game. At least that's kind of what I remember, because I remember when I switched to doing an online server, I was just surprised at how fast screamers would show up. It's like in just a few minutes, like if you're doing an online game, they show up. <laughs> Do it? Yeah. I'm doing it alright. And I guess if I want to, like, do this right, I should probably take out one layer. Like, do the, uh... Actually, if I did just the sand. If I did just the sand. And then throw down concrete for the walls. That would, uh, basically take care of that clipping issue I was telling you about, where zombies get caught on that little lip right there. Maybe I kind of look into doing that as well. So I don't think it would take much just to do one layer of sand here. But this was, uh, this used to be a street. This used to all be asphalt. And this is when I learned that it was like an excessive amount of effort to dig up a street just to put down concrete because you want it to match. <laughs> you want it to look like the rest of the base, right? Get a lot of stone out of it though. I mean, those blocks have like, uh, I think asphalt is 1500 hit points per block. So you get a lot out of it. Having some, uh, a bit of frame loss. Hopefully, not having zombies spawn. Because, uh, because this is a POI, zombies still spawn inside from time to time. And then that's an interesting game. Like trying to run around and play Find the Zombies in your base. <laughs> now. Yeah, there it is, 49. Okay. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep on top of this thing and just make sure it's repaired up above 50%. Oh wait, what am I doing? Um, probably just two for now. It's like 1200 gas for two of those. But this will actually help me get a little bit of uh, sand and stone, I guess. If we're doing any building out here. Making a bit more concrete. But I did bring a lot of that with me. Brought a lot of sand and stone with me. Like, this isn't like awful, I guess. A bit time consuming. Probably loud and obnoxious, but it'll take like too long to get through all these. And if this fixes it, oh my goodness, I am gonna be so excited. But I love this base, I really do. It was, uh, it was the first base that I actually put a lot of time and effort into. Like, I, you know, I put a lot of time into that base as well, especially when I came back and, like, added in, like, the mini bike entrance and everything like that, but, um, this base, this prison base was the one. <laughs> I was so stoked with the way it turned out. Yeah, it was rather frustrating when it just didn't work. It's like all that time, all that effort, and then nothing. Nothing happened. <laughs> it's all good, like I said. Every time I work on a base, it's I'm always just learning something new. You know, and that's like it's my favorite part about this game. Like even in its limited capacity, like or like the version that we have right now. It's like, I still 
like there's still new ideas coming like there's still a lot of stuff to be done before I run out of ideas for this game that is awesome So I think what I'm going to do, instead of like going around the entire base and trying to like, uh, I don't know, remove all the concrete right away, I think I'm going to try to fix like one pit at a time. Like it is all connected, it's all connected down there, um, but uh, I'm just going to do like one quarter of it at a time, see if I can, I kind of get a feel for what needs to be done right here. And then just uh, move on from there. And I guess if I were really, really serious about this, I really would do the uh, the concrete walls all the way down to the bottom. I mean, I already did concrete walls all the way down to bedrock in the center of this base, so, you know, what does it mean to do it on a pit like this? Like, there's a very small amount, and it's not even all the way down to bedrock. <laughs> Definitely gonna be some dangerous work. I'm gonna have to watch uh, how I do this though. I think what's gonna happen is where are we at? So I I had removed the inside wall because I thought uh, that was the issue. Is that the the pit was not wide enough. I think what I might do is just go back and add it in. Um, which means I'll have to take out those frame ramps down there. Because if they do fall in, I don't want them to land up. Well, I don't know. I'll think about that. I'll think about that. Because that's just like a whole bunch more concrete that needs to be dug out if I do that. If I go that route with it. Basically, I'm trying to avoid having to uh, go down through my tunnels and tearing stuff out of there. And yeah, this uh, this barbed wire here. It's mainly just to like deter them. It's just to like slow them down so that they kind of think about the fact they're running into these little pits out here. Um, so hopefully they'll turn into the funnel space uh, where I will be standing. All right. Should have just brought like a shovel with me though. It'd probably be a good idea to switch away from the auger for a bit. Also a good idea to repair this thing. All right. Let's kind of give a uh, quick look around. Make sure that I don't have any visitors. Um, cause I'm about to hop down in here, and I do not want any one recognizing that I am in a vulnerable position, and then jumping down in there would uh, not make my day. Probably need to put some more wood spikes out here. Oh, ow! That should be good. I don't see anybody. I think we're alright. Oh. I don't have the concrete on me. Alright, I'll have to remember to repair those. The reason they're not upgraded, like reinforced concrete, uh, is because I, I don't know, kind of felt that it fit with the style of the prison. Because these were blocks that came on the prison. You know, the uh, just regular concrete half blocks. And then this is... 
Uh, so not a brick. It's basically flagstone. Uh, we don't have this exact tile set, and so I used the flagstone for it, um, just to try to match it out. So that's why those are not upgraded. That's a little bit worrisome because it's my entrance ramp and everything, but should be all right. No raining zombies today? I hope not. I really hope not. Maybe I can do that. Just put one block here to kind of slow them down. <laughs> You'd be amazed at how little it takes to uh, stop a zombie. Okay. So apparently... Even though I'm down here, my head is catching on the barbed wire. So let's, uh, let's do two of these at once. Right. I should probably be doing that anyway, huh? Gotta speed things along here. Make sure we are. Like I know, when I was first looking at this, I was like, oh, I just gotta take out one row. Well, if I just uh, take this out and put up a, a concrete wall, then I'll be right in the same position that I was just in. So, uh, yeah, we need to take out the uh, one more row inside. That's not too bad, though. That's weird. Why is that happening? Weird artifacting, I guess. It's like stretching through from the uh, block underneath. Interesting. That one's doing the same. Just probably leave it, I guess. Whoa! It actually will. Uh, it's actually trying to knock me off. I thought I'd just be able to walk through it because it's just like a visual, you know, glitch. This is all fine and dandy with the sand, but when I switch over to the stone, that's when things are going to get pretty serious. But you can't break the stone in like a single hit like you can like this, so it kind of narrows and like stretches from side to side, um, and that makes your character kind of like lean forward. So you'll start, you'll be like trying to auger it down, and you'll be sliding forward, you know, towards your own spikes. So, uh, it's a good time to be sure. Well, I guess if I'm kind of doing it this way, though, it might not be too bad. But yeah, it is a pretty terrible idea to not actually have anything to protect me here. What if I should just be doing this all the way around? Do we do that? Do we just like? Do we just stop being lazy and like finally get this base right? And I might even just leave these uh, ramps and spikes there. That should be all. I think it should be all right. Okay, so let's do like that. Oops. I'm definitely being uh, a little bit hesitant to <laughs> just go running out here. Still pretty sure that uh, zombies are going to show up and give me a good time here. But we'll see. We'll see how things go. But today is officially Horde Day. So I need to decide where I'm going to do this at. I think we're alright. 
Okay, I'll just use one of the uh, Thor defenses here in town. Probably the pyramid uh, across the street. Oops. Because it doesn't really take much to uh, repair that thing. It's like I might throw a uh, garage door in there or not. I don't know. Um, one thing that I learned is the mini bike entrance is too close. It's like um, it was before I started playing with distant terrain on. And so zombies would spawn pretty close to where you were at. But after I turned that on, they started spawning like way far out there. And uh, every once in a while they spawn on my mini bike entrance and kind of tear it up a bit, get hung up on it, you know. So definitely need to... Or I guess what I've started doing is now all my entrances and things like that are much farther back. Good. No. Oh, we're thirsty. Real. <laughs> I don't have anything on me. Man, this character is always thirsty. All right. We'll deal with that later. <laughs> Just a little bit more. I'll just take off this last little bit of sand. I guess it'll kind of let us uh, drop off all the stuff we've just dug up. It's not bad. Once you get the uh, once you get the area dug out, you know the way that you're going to be working on it. It's uh, not too bad to get around on. That corner, though, like an outside corner, is no fun. I'm just realizing. All right, cool. We're down to uh, stone. Shouldn't take too long, honestly. Oh goodness! Oh man, I forgot. I dug out a. Uh, I dug out an extra block right here. <laughs> oh man, uh, Kensei would not have been happy about that. All right, we should be safe here. Hey there, brother. Oh, see, just in time to. Oh, whoop. Where are you? Oh, there are a lot of y'all, and I am in trouble. Go, 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 go! No, 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 no! Get out of the pit! You maniacs, get out of there! Alright, come on. I think we've got everybody gathered up now. And that zombie's faster than you, actually. Uh oh. Reload! Reload! All right, cool. Two headshots, not too bad. Got more of them spawning in. I do need to be a bit farther over so that they recognize where I am at. Don't you dare run into that pit lady. Oh, jeez. They're so fast. No, don't you dare. Get away! I thought that guy was dead for sure already. Alright, I'm pretty sure that bullet went right through his face. I don't know, uh... Let's see the replay on that. Are you still alive? Yeah, he's still alive. Ah, zombie! Still, uh... You know, a little used to uh, playing on Always Run here. I haven't played on it in a while. It's basically, it's a bit excessive, I believe, at times. It's like, I want to you know, just kind of deal with the zombies real quick. Or avoid them. <laughs> basically, if I'm out, like, looting and stuff like that, I'll just try to avoid the zombies. 
Uh, but it looks like the uh, zombies have hooked us up with some foods and waters. Actually, hold up. That's like the fastest way to do this. And I, uh, for realsies, do not need any of like the bones or animal fat or anything in this game. I don't even know how much of I have. If I need it, I can go pick it up real quick, I guess. Alright, it is the morning of day 602. They brought us water, but they didn't bring us any food. Let's give uh let's give a look see. Let's see if we have some food over here. That was all crafting stuff, right? Construction. Okay, it does not look. Oh, hey. Never mind. <laughs> A 600 pistol grid. Hey, stuff. Why am I looting? Like. What do you mean? Like, why am I even bothering to loot this stuff here? Just throw that in there. I guess we can keep our food and water in here so I can keep track of it. But yeah, that's not bad. We're gonna stack up that sand real quick. Okay. So a quick trip back to the base is necessary. Or I guess the crafting base. Hopefully the zombies don't decide to uh, mess up anything. I guess if I'm not over here, they're not really going to be here. So, oops, helps if you kind of manage that. Um, so we should be good. And the crafting base is like I don't know, two blocks away or something like that. can drive through the base here, but I, I try to refrain from doing that. It's kind of, uh, it just seems a little weird to do. Alright, so we now have a drilling in water, because I made that before I left. And we need 50 of those, those, we need some of this and that, and that, and some of those and those. Um, we're just going to make like a bunch of stuff and then we'll be set for a while. Meat stew by 50. All right, we're gonna need a lot of wood in here. And then we got uh, blueberry pies. I think we're gonna make like 15 of those. Throw that on there. Uh, veggie stew. Let's make like 30 of these. Oh, we can only make 25? Oh. Oops. Ah. I need two more jars. <laughs> Alright, well, we'll just make that many. Alright, cool. So, 8, 2, yeah, we're good. We're good on time. All right, cool. And so now when we get back, we will have all kinds of food and we will not have to mess with this at all for a while. Let's go ahead and eat up real quick. 79%. Probably just hold on to that. Can 
we do not have any goldenrod over here, do we? So, there we go. Looks like we need goldenrod, probably hops. Probably good on. How many? Actually, how many hop flowers do we have? I did throw those in here, didn't I? My chem station. Beer times. Let's just do 30. We want to make sure to have plenty of this going. I think I took all of the wood that I harvested today over to the construction site. Uh, 15 minutes. There we go. Do that. Alright, we still have 100 hops, so we probably don't really need those. I could grow some aloe real quick, though. Um, I think I can fit 90 plants in there. Like I said, it's been about a year since I've played on this save file, and so I uh, don't exactly remember what's what <laughs> on here. Do we even have anything here? Oh, dirt, some blue spruce seeds, a bit of fertilizer. Oh my goodness, I have uh, 730 pine seeds in here. I guess I could move my gardening stuff out here instead of having it in there. But yeah, this little garden is not too bad. It will produce everything I need it to. Let's see, that is like the halfway point. See if we can actually do 90. It's kind of weird, but it might be 85. Yeah, 85. So it's uh, a little awkward, not too bad. Cool. Let's get out of here before the zombies decide to show up at this side. And one thing I didn't really think about, I don't think I brought a lot of repair kits with me. Um, what's in here? Oh, I've got a little bit extra rebar. Let me move that down. Sand sod. Oh, I have 200 frames here? What? Alright, let's, let's put all this. I must have had a ton of stuff in this construction chest. To the point where I just started sticking it all over the place. Um, I might take those with me. I'll take that as well. I'm going to drop it off with... The rebar that we do have over there. Let's go into crafting. Grab us some of that. Let's see, we got a little bit. <sighs> what can we do here? We don't have cloth. Man, I knew I should have gathered up all that cloth up there. Man, I could have gotten all that from the top of the shotgun messiah. That was a fail. Alright. Then I also should have just planted cotton. Okay. What's done is done. Move on. Alright, so that still has a long while. We are kind of in need of a blueberry pie, really. I don't feel like eating the meat stew. That's kind of a waste, right? It's gonna be made like nearly 30 fullness. Oh man, we got we got a million. Let's just eat one. Let's go. I'm 
Let's see if I have repair kits anywhere in here. Uh, empty, gun safe. Uh, what is this? Nope. Oh. Well, there's low level chainsaw parts though. Alright, we're good. Okay. Let's uh, a boogie forth here. I didn't need to grab anything else. What was the main reason that I came back here? Food and drink? I'm gonna try to make it off of uh, what the zombies bring me until all my food's done. And then I'll just bring a little selection over. Like I've got a little bit in the mini bike, I just kinda need to get all that going. Man, I'm really going to, uh, I'm going to check the settings on the time for the days here. So it seems like these days are taking a really long time. So I can go ahead and do this beforehand. It's probably easier, a lot easier to do this with the, uh, the door down, right? There we go. Look at that. Perfect carbon job. Yeah, I do have some veggie stew in here. Oh, I could have just eaten one. <laughs> Meat stew's a waste. I wish I had a, a veggie stew. Well, dude, you got them in your bike. They're in your back. Uh, let's drop that in there. Take some of that. Oh, before I forget, before I forget, let's go ahead and we'll take the tunnels down. I haven't uh, gone through these yet with y'all. Yeah, these used to all be lit. I kept some of the lights on just to kind of illuminate the uh, the redwood blocks. I'm just going to turn that off so you get that effect on it. But all the rest of the lights are out. Um, there's just too much. I left the spotlights so that works out. We got eight spotlights down here kind of lighting things up. The lights right behind there. I did replace the lights up top. I figured those are far enough away; it shouldn't cause too much issues or too many issues. But uh, yes, we got those. And then, yeah, this had lights in it all. Also, you know, this goes all the way around the the base of the pyramid. So this is where I'm working. It's like right up there, above the stone. So yeah is a good time. I guess where I'm actually working though is on this side. Okay, it looks like everything's all closed up. I think we're good. But it is a lot of fun. All of these <clears throat> all these entrances uh, are connected and go to, like this is going to take me to the Northwest Tower. I came down through the Northeast. And I can either like hop outside, uh, which this is where I need to be to fix this wall here. Um, or you can continue up the tower and go up to the main deck. deck. Uh, you can walk around the top there. There's another door right there. So a uh, huge fan of having things all connected. We do need that cobblestone, though. There we go. Oh yeah, this stuff is way sturdy. This is 1,200 hit points. <clears throat> There's only 500 on flagstone, but it's the closest I could get as far uh, in appearance, as far as appearance goes. Alright, I'll have to fix that later, and it's like walking all the way back around, just for that. But yeah, you can walk around up top, it's a good time. See down, also a good time. And I'm just going to hop off over here, get back to what I was doing. 
Ugh. And that is not where I stacked my frames to get out of there. I probably should get the forges at that base going. Because now that I'm I'm wanting to do concrete walls all the way down the side, um, I am going to need more rebar. Might have enough concrete though. <laughs> I brought a lot of that stuff. All right. Like I said, on this outer wall, I am going to have to do one more layer. But as I go around through here, um... Oof, so that's why I don't like this. This is all I need to do for this wall. Uh, maybe we do two. And even though I will be destroying the blocks... Uh, at my feet. I'm gonna try really hard not to hit them because uh, it'll make me slide off and fall into my own spike pit. Generally not a good time. I can definitely like empathize with the zombies on that one. Ah! Wasted my resources! Hey, some iron! <laughs> Actually need some of that. All right, where are we here? Let me make sure I'm not getting off track too much. Oh jeez. Well, that one's gonna have to go anyway. I'm just gonna break that so that uh, when I step over there, it's not all weird. <laughs> like I'll fall into that space, but I won't like slide off the edge. Consider that to be a bonus. Yeah, I was actually, uh, like, I'm not going to get a ton doing this, but I am in need of iron so that I can kind of keep producing these uh, frames. I should throw a forge together out here. Need some leather and some short iron pipes. I think I, yeah, I've got plenty of stone and clay out here for sure. Is that right? I didn't go too far, did I? Okay, we're good. Okay. That was a really kind of a delayed reaction on that block. A lot of times when I start seeing that, it makes me wonder if zombies are spawning in. So I may go take a peek at that. I'm starting to get some uh, issues with the digging here. Let me go take a peek. Just in case. Once again, one block over. Come on, let me out of here. All right. I don't see anybody. I think that's good enough of a check for me. Wanna uh get back down in here. Alright. Yeah, this might uh seem like a lot of extra doing. But uh yeah, this was, I guess, like, reasonably early into my seven days to die gaming. Um, so there were things where I kind of, like, cut corners here and there. And uh, I regret that. Like, I, I regret, like, not being able to have this all finished out, you know, in a really good fashion. And that's probably why I'm having issues with it not working. I mean, that's not weird. Or it, like, destroys after you've already broken the block. You kind of see it go through the process visually very quickly. Oops. 
Time to repair. So yeah, after that, uh, the base I built for for the my YouTube stream a while back, the Nemesis playthrough that I put up. Uh, <laughs> there's no point in cutting corners. I did uh, I did a whole lot on that base. <laughs> I may have spent a significant amount of time laying down frames and picking them back up so that I could flatten out the asphalt around the base. It's like that base takes up three, like a third of that city. That was a, uh, that was a lot of a frame laying action going on there. And unlike when I used to play this save file, like I recorded everything, like. That whole series, like, uh, the only time I would ever load into that game was for streaming. So everything is on there and it's all up on YouTube. But this game, uh, like I said, I would do a lot of grinding. I would do a lot of grinding off stream. Like a lot of my mining and stuff, I used to do tons of mining off stream. Um, and like, you know, stuff like laying down the frames. <laughs> Things like that. Right. Um, oh yeah, and especially when I got to the Hub City, I did record a lot of that that Hub City base that I was showing earlier. Um, but there is there's a ton of stuff that I cut out. I would literally like I would stream, kind of like you know get a really good idea of what needed to be done, and after the stream I would go in there and just start grinding away. And I would, you know, be in there for like several hours, you know, two, three hours at least after a stream. Just like grinding down buildings and like digging those pits and uh, it was a lot of doing. Yeah, which one am I hitting here? There we go. Good. Yeah, looks like we're doing alright. Uh oh, wait. No, we're good, we're good. I keep thinking I'm taking it back too far on this corner. Whoops. Let's go ahead and uh, craft up a couple more of those. 1200 more gas on the way. Still, uh. Still doing pretty good here. Haven't had any zombies decide they want to visit the construction site. It is like 1,200. I'm gonna... Jeez, break, please. Um, I am gonna have to go get myself set up here for the Horde Night reasonably soon. Like I said, I think I'm just gonna do it at the, uh, the Pyramid Base right over there across the street. And we'll basically just be hoping that they don't spawn either at the crack -a book or at my uh, mini bike entrance. If I have to choose one, I'd rather them spawn at the uh, crack -a book for sure. Um, but yeah, it would be best if they didn't spawn at either of those places. It's really interesting, like this wall in particular, this one seems to be the one that's really laggy and weird. The other ones, like I just went all the way around and had really no issues. This one just, there's like a huge delay on when I break the block and when it actually disappears. This is not too bad. We're almost down to the bottom already. I love that 600 auger though, right? Things are mute. <laughs> Although, to be fair, or I mean, to be honest, like, I don't actually like having a 600 auger. I would rather it be, like, I think I have, like, a 530 or something like that in my other game, and it's totally fine. You can actually run it longer uh, than the 600, based on, like, basically how, how many repair kits it's going to take to repair it, right? I can run that 530, like, down a lot farther and only have to use repair kit, or two repair kits on it. But I can miss one. And it's like the blade and engine are 600 on it. It's just the the handlebars 
and the uh, what's even on here? It's like handlebars and uh, oh, the parts. I think it's the handlebars and the parts that are not 600s, but the engine and blade are. And really, yeah, I could just like I could put 600 parts on there and just have some really junky handlebars on there. And that would lower the level of the item overall. I wonder if that would work. Because then all the parts and everything would be in fantastic shape. Just giving a uh, quick listen for zombies. If I hear any noises up there, that I should go check out. I wonder why. I don't know. I have no way of knowing the answer to this, but I do wonder why this inside wall seems to have way more trouble with rendering the blocks that I'm breaking than uh, the outer wall. That is a super strange. See, like how weird that is? It just like... And then because of the delay, it's like, look, I'm hitting blocks all over the place. Just break that out. Let's take a wood frame in there, I guess. But yeah, I have no idea why it does that. Like, there's such a huge delay on it. And then it just like... It starts attacking all the blocks around it. It's 1300, so we're getting pretty close. Next time I load this game up, though, I'm going to check the time on it. I'm pretty sure it's just 60, 60 minute days, but man, this is taking forever. I guess, like, I mean, it doesn't seem like there'd be much of a difference between 60 minute and 50 minute days, but if that's all the difference it is, it does seem like these days are ridiculously long. I go too far on that. That's not too bad. Like I said, that, that layer needs to go anyway. How are we doing on gas? So we're going to need more. So I'll definitely make a trip back to my base by the Hub City and grab some more resources. So that'll probably be, like I said, one of the things I do off stream. Kind of make a couple runs because I know I got like a ton of cloth and stuff over there. I don't feel like going out to try to gather cloth for this base when I've just got like a ton of it at my other one. Basically, since I'm streaming right now, I was just trying to cut down on all the uh, driving back and forth. Getting down there, not too many rows left. 
like I said, this uh, me doing this is to counteract my laziness from not having to do it when I originally built this base. Now, like the last base, like the very last base that I had built on this uh, playthrough, I guess it wasn't really like a playthrough, it's kind of like, I did a lot of it off stream, so, on this series, you can say that, the last base that I built, like the pits are, I mean the pits are almost as large as my, my base right here, so I've got my pyramid base right here, um, but the one in the hub city, <laughs> like this thing over here, check it. Like, the pits of the base are right here on the corners, and these are almost as big as, like, my entire pyramid base, like, in this city here, right? Um, so yeah, I didn't do those walls concrete all the way down, and I feel fine about that. <laughs> that is a lot. This, uh, this one is a different story, like, there's not, not a lot of space between surface and my spike pit. Cause like I didn't go to bedrock here. Like it's it's deep enough, but it's like uh Actually no that is bedrock, isn't it? Oh yeah, liar, I'm a liar. That is bedrock. <laughs> Cause yeah, the rest of the uh prison is all the way down to bedrock. Like basically I just cut the center out of it, like where the courtyard was, drop it straight down to bedrock, the whole thing. Um and yeah, so these Spike pits out of necessity would be also a bedrock so I could access them. So we're looking at 1500. Not too much longer. Use these uh, last two barrels that I got here. I'm super glad that I had apparently been stacking up gas barrels on this playthrough. <laughs> or on this file, I guess. Went to go uh, look at my mini bike. I had like 76 barrels of gas in there. It's like, yeah, should be good for a little bit. <laughs> right, I probably need to wrap this up and get out of here, though. Head back to the. Uh, crafting base. Get myself ready for the Horde Knight. Which shouldn't take long. Like, I just need to pick up my AK, some 7.62 rounds. Uh, I think I'm just gonna use the Magnum. Use the Magnum in the AK for the Horde Knight. And then I've got like... Oh jeez, how many... I have 157 exploding crossbow bolts, which is... madness to me. Like on my other games, I'm carrying around like 40 to 60 at a time, and it totally seems to be fine. So I'm just like, oh my goodness, dude, what are you doing? You're just like trying to blow the world up? This one, this game is on insane difficulty and always run, so that's also a factor. There are many zombies, and they come at you really fast, so that's kind of an issue with that. I'm just going to get to this corner again, and then I'm going to hop out of here. Alright, where does this need to go? Right there. And... yeah. Cool. And remember that uh, I have a ceiling above there, so I can't plop it right down in that corner there. Yeah, and I think I'm just gonna fight the zombies over there. It's pretty, it's pretty good horde defense. I like that design, and it's extremely durable, so I don't have to worry about trying to repair it. Um, in between all this. Oh man. And real quick, I. I'm going to take a quick bathroom break. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to park right here, and I'll be right back. See you in a second.
Alrighty, now I'm back. Sorry for the wait on that. I was, uh, I had intended to, like, try to wait out until Horde Night, but this day is just taking too long. I'll have to check the, uh, I guess I'd have to check the settings on that. Let's go ahead and drop off those construction supplies that we just picked up. Uh, we're not going to need that. We shouldn't need our nail gun or the auger uh, or the wrench. Oh, that's cool. We got a stack of uh, iron already. How much stone do we have in here? Oh, goodness. Let's uh, put some of that in the other chest. Alright, so over here. Drop that, 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 some of that. That, that, and that. Ten cloth over here. Sweet. Um... Maybe, actually, no, let me take that iron with me. I'm going to go throw that in the forge. And I should have a little bit of clay over there. Drop off the splints, the concrete, uh, the wood, the repair kits. Cool. Fire axe. Sorry. I'm just, like, <laughs> going through my entire list. Uh, we should be good there. So, 1749. Yeah. I'm so used to just having to like rush around like crazy to get everything set up. Um, I'm just like, oh gosh, I need this, this, and this. I've got to do it right now. <laughs> so I'm kind of in that rushy mode right now, but uh, I have plenty of time. <laughs> All right. This might be one something I do like right after the horde night. I'm gonna flatten this section out. Like it's only what, like five blocks wide? Actually six blocks. Um, just from here to there, just so I've got like uh, a decent little entrance. I planned on digging it all up at some point, but uh, I don't think that's a task that will ever be completed. Looks weird without that workbench there. Um, yeah, that's about it. I think all my guns and everything are inside. Um, well, the sniper rifle is really fun on this base, but that's two 7.62 weapons, right? And I only brought, well, I mean, I got over a thousand rounds. Maybe, oh, no, no, I don't want to use the SMG. I didn't audio check the SMG, so I don't know if it'll actually work without uh, getting the sound glitch. But I know the AK does. I didn't bring any of that 44 with me either. All right, we are going to do what we can. So let's see, this should be iron with nothing in it, nothing in it. Oh man, I cleaned myself out. Good job, me. That's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> let's just throw some iron in one of these. Um, I do have a bit of clay. Let me just throw like 1,500 in there. Do I have any wood over here for this? Yeah. Let's start off with that, just to kind of like uh, get something going in here, so I can make a little bit of rebar. There we go. That should be fine. Okay. Um, 1847. We still have a bunch of time. Kind of assumed that uh, I would have to boogie here. That was not the case. So let's do this. I'm basically going to be using the Magnum as a sniper rifle. <laughs> so it'd be really cool if, like, on the uh, PC you could throw a scope on it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you could throw a scope on the Magnum. That seems about right. And all our beer is done. Congrats. Us. I think we're good. I think we are uh, set to go. And now we've got, like... A jillion in food, right? We're uh, stacked out over here. Just take half 
of each of these, stick them in over here, put the rest in the mini bike so that I'll have everything I need at the construction site and I won't have to come back here. Um, golden rods an issue. Gotcha. We have some growing at this very moment. We don't have... No, I did not sit in the craft. Okay. Why? Um, <laughs> I guess I'm set. I'm just so used to having more stuff that needs to be done. Or just having less time to do it, really. Since I haven't played this file in so long, I had I didn't really go back through all of the settings, I guess. I probably should have done that. Oh, that's what I'm missing. I'm really used to uh, having my regular bow on me. In the other game that I'm playing, I've always got this regular bow. Um, but I don't use one of those in here. I mean, I guess I could. Anyway, well since I do have some time, I can go over to this base, make sure that everything looks right. And if it doesn't, um, I've got supplies just across the street to do repairs. Oh, uh, I already know. I already know. I need a garage door. And I have one in my construction chest. Sweet. I think I've got repair, supplies for repair over there. If not, we'll just uh, do it before I do a video on it. So it's like, the idea is like, while I'm working on this prison base, I should be doing it while I'm working on it, uh, but they're all going to need a little bit of attention. I want to go through and film a horde night uh, at each of the bases, right? And then I can... Uh, basically edit those out of the stream and just create like uh, a video for a horde night at the base basically like I'll go through look at the base kind of talk about it and then do a horde night there and I can put that in the base designs playlist that I have that currently has two bases in there because <laughs> I've probably got about eight you know seven or eight like functional bases if I can get this thing to work or if I can fix this dang thing um, so I'll have enough bases to, you know, get a few in there for the playlist. Yeah, this one's a lot of fun. Um, I may eventually have to take down this stuff. I'm trying to leave it, because it's the crack of book, man. It's really hard for me to take down the bookstore. The shotgun Messiah, whatever. Tear it up, take it down. Crack a book, that's a, that's a hard sell. <laughs> yeah, I went ahead and... Because I needed a mini bike parking area, but like I said, after I put on uh, distant terrain, this was just way too far, way too far, or way too close. I love this thing. It uh, it was a lot of fun. Let me turn my mining helmet off. This is just the lighting uh, in through here. So all the lights are like hidden, you know, back this way and in there. It was a fantastic time. Yeah, and these things look pretty rough. Uh, let me turn that back on. Okay, so it needs to be... That's going to open towards me, isn't it? I didn't realize you could put those at an angle. That might be... Hold up, let me look at that. How much space does that cover? Okay, stop moving! Um, Man, but it doesn't touch. It doesn't touch either of the other blocks. Hmm. Okay. It, it's really, it really doesn't matter, but um, let me check this out real quick. So I need these to open out. And you can see these ones are all upgraded and reinforced. Um, it's good times. I haven't used these in forever. I think they open out? Oh, whatever, let's just do it. Ah, no, they open in. Okay, well, we'll fix that. I won't bother upgrading him. I need to get a new one. <laughs> There's so many things I'm not familiar with in this game anymore. Let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, we got uh, the supplies. Nothing in there. Is all the glass in place? Looks like it. Okay, so that's all. Yeah, that's all good. <laughs> there was one time a bunch of zombies spawned here and they were trying to get in through this door. Um, I was up on top and I looked down here and shot an exploding crossbow bolt and just like every one of these blocks right around the door just disintegrated. I was like, oh, <laughs> that's not a good idea. Yeah, as you can see, like the hallways are taller now. Ooh, there's a lot of frame loss. Wow. Hallways are taller than like, you know, what I had started with. But uh, it's still like narrow. And so definitely gotten into doing things a bit differently. And this base was kind of set up to, uh, to call in screamers ahead of time. So when I do the Horde Night video for that, I'm going to try to try to get that done. I do like the way this thing looks. Like, it's a lot of fun. You can hang out here if you want. You can hang out down here. Um, I set myself up on top here. So as you can see, this is just too close. They can spawn behind it. Um, and also, this too close. So I might need to go in and just kind of clear that out. If they could spawn over there, that would be fantastic. Um, and honestly, I should probably get rid of the bank. Because it's like right in between both of these bases. So there's a chance for them to spawn over there. That's not super cool. Yeah, I guess let's uh, make sure we're all loaded up. Yep. We got the beer. We got ammo for days. 300 frames. <laughs> we might have been doing some construction. Yeah, even with the mining helmet off, like, this thing is pretty fun. Yeah, these are all just spotlights. have spotlights all the way around. For some reason, like, this file, I have a lot of lights at my bases. I have a lot. When I tried playing on, uh, oh, which game? Like, the Nemesis pl playthrough that I did. As well as, like, the one I'm working on now, uh, Ukyol, is, like, I don't know. I have a really bad time with lighting. Oh, man. Alright. Got some water. Got just a moment here before these zombies come a-running. So basically, I'm trying to spawn, or stand... <laughs> The farthest away from all the sides I don't want them to spawn at. So I'm hoping they spawn right behind me. Sweet, here they come. Good times. Woo! Okay, it's gonna take me. I'm gonna kind of get the aim here. What are we doing? Yeah, sniper rifle definitely works better for this. But the 44 is super fun and handy. There's a cop. And take shelter right there. You alive? Nah, he's dead. Okay, so some of them are spawning over there. I should probably try to keep myself on this side. Uh, maybe I should use the magnum when I'm on the ground. I don't know. If I have like a feral or a cop come through, I'm gonna need the AK. Oh man, my aim is awful with this thing. I haven't used one of these in forever. Come on, man. Alright. Yeah, I have one playthrough that I'm doing where I'm not using any modern weapons. And I have another one that I'm doing uh, where I haven't found a stock for an AK yet. Like, I'm super far into that game. Um, like, day 200 and something, and I still don't have a stock for it. And so then come right over here. Honestly, I think if I were to do this again, I would give myself more iron bars out over here. Another row at least would be really nice. Yeah, that's a uh, spike ramp. 
<laughs> setup is pretty effective. Uh, you can see like most of them have no legs by the time they get to the top. Um, and then of course like if they get to the top then there are just all these spikes here. Yeah, let's use the AK for a bit. Kind of need to get the feel for it. And I forget, like, uh, neither one of the games I'm doing right now are on insane difficulty. Just because it's it's a bit excessive, honestly. It takes a ton of bullets to kill anybody. But I guess if I just have better aim, right? Do we have someone up here still? And every once in a while you do kind of have to like go around and check the sides in case someone got sneaky. Went around on it. And a lot of times, like if they're down that far and I've done a good amount of damage to them, I'll, sometimes I'll even just leave them. Because they'll just die on the spikes on the way up. Then I can just start shooting at somebody else. Got a cop, so and that would be another reason to have another row out here. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, and he is angry about something. I do not want him to get up here. He's gonna get up here. All right, he's dead though. This is why I guess I have as many bolts on me as I do. Oh man, I thought he was gonna move forward. Because cops have a million hit points on insane difficulty. Why am I... Why do I even bother? Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey there, Connie. Uh, Connor, sorry. <laughs> Looking at half the chat, half at the uh, game here. Alright, so we should probably try to like spread them out a bit. I'm gonna kind of head down this way. And it's the, uh, yeah, the crawlers, man. Always slowing things down. I really should have that sniper rifle on me because my aim is. Awful with this thing. It's here pretty soon. I should go ahead and hop down. See, look, here's another one. They're like spawning way back there. Oh, you can't even see through that. But yeah, there they go. See, I got too close. I got too close. Because then they spawn on top of my uh, my mini bike entrance. Right, I need to get back over here. See if I can bring their spawn point over a little. So I hope there aren't uh, some stuck on the back there right now. Because I can't see through the back window from here. I guess if I notice there's some zombies missing from the group, I should go check, right? Uh, who do we got? We got one, two, three, four, five just died. Six, seven, maybe? There might be some back there. One or two. Depending on my count, if I recounted this crawler over here. Oh, you have it in full? Right on. It is a super fun game. This one, uh, this file right here is just a local game, though. Man, quit sending crawlers. Look how far, look, they're spawning right there. Like, this feral. Is that a feral? Nah, it's not. I was hopeful. But yeah, they're spawning crawlers way back there. That's why it's taking them so long to get here. Eating up my max alive, crawlers. All the time. Every time. I should just get down there. It's like after midnight. I know the Horde Night's kind of long for this setting, I guess, but um, I should just get down there. 
Let me go ahead and take a drink of water in life, real life here, and then uh, some beer in game. Okay, the dude got off of the uh, mini bike entrance. That is a good time. Let's hop down. Ah, oh, there we go. Let's see if this dog actually makes it up here. Nope, he's stuck on a body. We're gonna help him out. Carwood underscore CA. Hold on. We have a cop on the way. I need to get off of here. Let's go ahead and head down this side. Alright. See if we stopped him from heading up the top. Now he's at the, uh, shoot, he's at the corner. <laughs> Shot his leg off. Uh, yeah. Like, it's, it's kind of rare that I end up playing with people, but, uh... Oh, I shouldn't. I shouldn't run over on this side. I should not run over on this side. But I may, at some point, do so. All right. We got to get this guy out of here. And try not to hit our uh, mini bike parking. And at the same time, oh, get away! Are we? Oh, you've been playing since you bought it from the store? Yeah, it's a super fun game. I have put many, many hours into it. There's another cop right next to me. There is another one on the way as well. So we need to kill this guy. Why will you not die? Oh, with a jump shot crossbow. Managed not to shoot myself. <laughs> Which is nice. Got this guy coming down. Hey, the crawler is the one who made it down. Everyone else, though. Okay, here we go. Got our feral inbound. Oh, jeez, my uh, aim may not be the best here. Kind of need to keep them from spawning. I have a mini bike entrance. Whatever, cop, get away from me! <laughs> Alright, for right now, this might work. Not with aim like that! Not with aim like that. Who's behind me? Alright, alright, let's go. Another cop right here. We're uh, we are loaded with the cops. This AK's wearing out really fast. Okay, I think he's dead. Okay, cool. Perils are just vicious. Like I gotta try to get rid of them as soon as it's possible. All right, you gotta go, brother. It's just the way it is. Why is my aim so bad? Okay, I was going to say, if he didn't go down with that, I'd be very surprised. It was a direct hit. Oh, we need a beer, something fierce. Unless we're uh, we're kind of done for here. Alrighty. Apparently, I just felt like wasting a few rounds there. <laughs> Probably not my best, uh, my best aim. Man, how many ferals are coming through? Come on. That doesn't kill him. Okay. I was about to be mad if that didn't kill him. <laughs> it's like that hit him right in the face. That dude just learned how to teleport. That's super weird. Okay, he's dead. <laughs> Picking up those advanced skills late game. Stacking up his perks and whatnot. 
Oh man, I wish the Pharaohs couldn't lose their legs. That seriously, like, uh, destroys their challenge. Cops can't. You can't destroy a cop's leg. Dog. Oh man. They're so agile. <laughs> and my aim is awful, so... <laughs> <laughs> That's not a good combination of things uh, when wanting to kill a dog. Okay. What's up, brother? Need to kill you first. Okay. Awesome. It went right over that guy's head. Good times to be had. Oh. Squishy. And they have so many hit points. Run away from the bloodthirsty zombies. I am doing my best. Okay. I think I got all three of them there. And then we got these guys. Just like eating them on Max Alive for no apparent reason. It was to have an order to end at six. Uh, my horde will end at four. Oh, I didn't kill her. I only shot her arm off. Oh, we've got uh, another cop on the way. Man, I need repair kits. Me, it, like right before the horde night, I won't need repair kits. Let's drop these off. Sounds like a good idea. <laughs> oh, jeez, bad aim, right? Alright, let's go ahead and try to get this cop out of here. Oh, he's coming. Oh, he's ran the wrong way. Works out for me. Yeah, two direct hit crossbows. Did not take him down. Let's see, I need a beer. Oop. Woo, 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 woo. No, get up. Spiders have too many hit points. Uh, we can do survival. Oh, a private server? Oh, um, like I said, it is kind of it's kind of rare that I actually play with people. I may at some point. I have just given myself many a projects <laughs> with this one game right here, and I'll also be uh, working on this this series that I'm streaming on YouTube. Dog! Oh, that was the last bullet. I'm glad I hit him with that. Ah! No, get away! Oh, my aim is awful! I'm bleeding out! <laughs> Alright. Oh, and look at all these bodies are starting to despawn. Huh. Yeah, I really... I've been... Oh, nice. Totally whiffed. I've been playing on the, uh... Shorter days. Like, 50 minute days, I guess. I didn't realize it made that much of a difference. And it's also a difference of uh, an online game and a local game, so I'm not sure how much that has to do with despawn rates and whatnot. Oh jeez, I thought that was going to hit the ground in front of me. But yeah, these... Oops. Oop, dog! Dog! Oh, come on, man. Alright. Nope, no time for that, no time for that. Alright, now we got time for that. Let's do a med kit. Alright, good. All is well. Oops, except for I did not mean to fire that. I guess we kind of like, well, I don't know, maybe keeping them all on the same side would be better. There are three ferals. Good times. Need more durability on my AK. Oh, he's dead. Cool. Wee. 
Oh, cool, got him. Oh yeah, like you can you can add me on PSN. That's cool. Um, like I said, it'll probably be a while before I'm. Oh, getting games into the people. Ow! <laughs> I didn't see that uh, that guy on the ground. Let's go ahead and just kind of wrap this up. I'm gonna get back to building. Oh, let me loot this guy. Oh, okay, cool. He got a spot. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's just T1000 without the 2025 on the end. Forgot I hadn't uh, switched Nightbot over to Twitch. I still have it. I haven't set it for YouTube when I stream over there, but I could link it to both accounts. Ow, dude. All right, so apparently I need to loot these bodies real quick. Sweet. <laughs> like, make an effort to get over here and it's like two nails. It's like awesome. I don't know how long these last. It's probably been, I guess like I said, I was saying earlier, it's been like a year since I've played on this file. And see, I really don't even need the uh, mining helmet on over here. Oh yeah, I never checked to see if anyone uh, got stuck back here. Like sometimes they'll get stuck at the uh, part right where the glass is here. Like they'll get up onto this ledge and just be stuck here. So luckily, no one did this time. Cool. Maybe I should start from the uh, top down here. It's a bit easier than trying to jump up the spikes, right? That's what the zombies are trying to do, and we saw how well that worked for them. Okay, cool. Yeah, generally, like, uh, after the stream and everything, I'll go ahead and, like, accept friend requests. Hmm. Oh, man. I love that water. Alright. Whoop. Ah, there it is. The dreaded console fog. <laughs> now, this is when uh, a bunch of lights can be an issue. Wait a minute. Oh, it's not just the fog. It's a wandering horde. You guys, like, what do you mean? I didn't even have a chance. Like, the horde just ended. What are you doing here? No! My loot! They're gonna be breaking all my loot! Oh yeah, that's kind of a waste. Oh man, like I didn't even have a chance to... Didn't have a chance to like loot any of these bodies from the Horde Knight. Oop! There's a guy right here! Oh, come on now. Is that really necessary? Uh... Don't have anything for that yet. Just need a bit of cloth. I just want to accept it now. <laughs> uh, yeah, dude, I'm not gonna back out of this. Like, I'll deal with it later. Oh, yeah, do I have some on this side as well? What are you doing over there? Dude, like, everybody else is dying on this side. Why are you running away? Get over here. Go ahead and get some uh, use, more use out of that magnum there. Mostly used AK. How much ammo did I go through? Oh goodness, I used a lot. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I kind of hope you're joking. <laughs> now this guy's still alive. That should be good. Let's see if we can kind of... Ugh. Okay, what happened was I landed right on my spikes, so that's what I found out. <laughs> Look at him! No, get away from my... Get away from my base! I mean, it's, it's just my parking garage, but... Get away from my base. Taking 
trap damage. Alright, let's go ahead and try to pull them down through here real quick. Oh man. Man, my aim is awful. I don't even know why I wasted wasted all my shots on that. Maybe. Man, the always run insane difficulty is uh, definitely no joke. Oops. Are y'all done yet? Oh, I do forget my uh, leg is sprained. That's why I can't run very fast. Oh, jeez, my glass! I'm, sh I'm gonna shoot my glass! Oi, oi, oi! Okay, I already drank a beer, so we're good on that. Let's use that. Okay. And I think everyone who is up top there is probably dead by now. I need to go give a look at the uh, mini bike entrance. See if I shot any of the blocks out, and also see if. Uh, uh, See if anyone else is stuck over there. Yeah, look at this dude. What are you doing, man? Oops, sorry. Oh yeah, There's definitely more of them. They're just hanging around. Okay, he's down. My goodness. All right, we gotta get this dude taken care of. I don't know what he's doing. He's just wandering around like, uh, I mean, they're on always run and he's just kind of standing there. Slightly strange, indeed. <laughs> Alright, uh, so I do believe that you are not joking at this point. Um, I am not going to back out to accept your friend request while I'm streaming. And that's just it. It's like I don't mind doing it after the stream. That's what I normally do. And that is totally fine with me. But I do not want... I'm not wait and stream except now it's been six hours ago. Yeah, no. Um, yeah. I am going to play my game. <laughs> Go ahead and drop that. Let's just drop everything in here for right now. And then, you know, whatever stacks, stacks. That word. You will find someone else? Oh yeah, that's totally fine. <laughs> Do you want to go watch somebody else uh, who will accept your friend request? That is totally cool. You should do so. Did I have cloth in there? I think I threw the wooden net. There's still somebody up there? <laughs> Here we go. Manolas TV? <laughs> uh, hello? Welcome. Alright. Oh, there he is. I thought I had gotten all of them. Oh, aim is awful. Alright, he's dead. Good times. Uh, this is gonna hurt. Alright. So hopefully I'll have time to actually kind of clean up these bodies here. Like, that was... That was kind of interesting. I had... All of those uh, Head of Wandering Horde show up at the end of the Horde night. Like there was no break really in between. Oh, 
hoping somebody has a splint on them. Or just like a bit of cloth and some wood. Yeah, it looks like I'm starting to lose quite a few of the bodies. I was starting to get the uh, looting from the Horde Knight finished, and then like the Wandering Horde showed up. And all these disappearing. That's what's so weird, like I haven't played on uh, local game in forever. Like going back to this file is really interesting. You just notice the differences between online games and uh, just a local file. Okay, so we can go down. Probably take more trap damage. Yup. <laughs> I never got good at that. But I do love me some spikes. And most of them are going to be on this side, so shouldn't be too bad to get all these done. I'm just glad none of them got like hung up on the uh, mini bike entrance there. I know I had like some cops running through here. It's, I didn't really seem to find uh, many shotguns or anything like that. And I usually find a good number of those off the cops. And I also kind of forget that a local file, <laughs> the body is so different. Like I keep trying to run away from it. It's like on a, an online game, you just hit it once and it's gone. It doesn't leave the second set of like the bones that remains there. But yeah, I do want to get a few things done on this file. Uh, like I said, I want to go through and record a horde night at all the different bases. Should be good to, I guess, say goodbye to this file. <laughs> it's been a lot of fun, but the only only having four save files is pretty rough. I don't want any of that stuff. I don't need that. That, and I probably have like a million dollars somewhere. That's what's interesting about coming into this. Like, dude's on day six hundred. Oops, well, it's gone now. <laughs> But yeah, these on like day 600, so you just got so many supplies. And you have so many supplies all over the place. It's like here. There's some 600 Magnum parts in here. Actually. Ah, we still don't have, uh, we don't have any wood in here. Okay. Treasure maps for days. I don't know what to do with them all. Looks like I could combine the Magnum stuff. I'll do that in a bit though. Is dude still hungry? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, but now I need some water, something fierce. Drop that. Alright. As always, the zombies keeping me hooked up. Stocked up on all the goods. Yeah, we pretty much got like a full magnum. I oh, know we do have a full magnum, I think. Yeah, we do. Ha, uh, neat. Let's go and uh, put it together, I guess. Start scrapping this brass because that stuff takes forever. I guess I don't need that. Need that. Yeah, 
<laughs> rocket launcher parts. This dude already has like two 600 rocket launchers, um, which I believe I got both of them from airdrops. <laughs> which is interesting. My goodness, there are so many bodies. Oh, sweet. I kind of like finding like low-level military gear because I can use it for repairs on my stuff. These are 589s though, so they could use an upgrade to get up to 600. Is that everybody? No, not quite. I missed a ton of them. <laughs> not even close? Alright. Let's keep going then. Oh wow. At least the uh, like cops and ferals out here had really good loot. It does seem like uh, like the cops that had made it up through the spikes were had despawned. I don't really seem to remember finding much up there. Man, I came out of here with like 500 rounds of 7.62, and it is like gone. 300 and some odd rounds of uh, 44, and it's mostly gone. So hopefully, uh, I'm kind of cut back on that. I don't know. That's a lot of gunpowder to maintain. Went through. What did I have? Like 150. 160 exploding bolts, something like that. So we went through a good number of those as well. Cool. But yeah, this is like, you know, reasonably basic structure, I guess, but it's just super effective. It is uh, definitely a good time. Open, please. Kind of take a uh, peek through here, make sure that none of the, the glass got broken. I think we're good. And see, if they make it up onto the roof, it's fine. They'll just run over the glass and down off the other side. It's only an issue if they get stuck right here on these blocks and they'll start to break those in. Um, or if they get stuck in the doorway there. That's uh, why I had to replace that one. Okay, so we have a ton of junk on us, is what I'm looking at. Okay, we can scrap that. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and make ourselves that splint. Oh my goodness. Alright, so we got a little bit of time until that's done. Uh, I'm just going to toss that. Toss that and that, and we can scrap that. Let's see, 119. Okay, so that needs to be assembled. 119, that's good. And there. So now I got all the ammo out of there. I guess next time I should use the SMG. I have a ton of 9mm ammo. just not nearly as powerful. That's good. I'll just leave the rest. Honestly, I probably don't even need any of that stuff. <laughs> I'm just like filling up space here. Oops. I don't know. I don't know if I like that better or not. Opening into the base. At any rate, this thing will have to be upgraded. So splint done. Sweet. Yeah, this thing is like, it's a good like base to use while I'm doing construction on stuff. 
Um, and this is this is where I'm working right now, so it's kind of it is pretty handy to have that right right next door. And like I I like this platform base over here. Um, I really wish I had built it with iron bars instead of like the quarter blocks. But I mean, it's still a pretty good base. Um, it's just like you'll go through a ton of wood using this thing over here. It's like you can, or I should probably use both hands to drive here. You can fit 500 spikes underneath there, right? Let me turn my mining helmet or my mini bike light off. And they, the zombies love it. Like they just run straight for them. They don't run around or anything. They just go straight for it. Is it pretty interesting? As I say that, this dude's running around. He's like, nope, I'm not running it down underneath there. Yeah, this is a fun base. The only issue with it is it is in the snow biome, so you have got to be really prepared for that. Um, even wearing like a hoodie, pants, and a puffer coat, like I'll generally freeze myself out before the horde night ends. I actually have some like I think veggie stew or something in that chest up there for just such occasions. There we go. Alright, <clears throat> so I should probably designate what well, looks like a good chest for it. Right, one of these supplies, quest, okay. So this is my trader chest, I believe. Honestly, that can just go. Although I could use it to just repair mine real quick, right? Why don't I just do that? That's a much smarter thing. Um, treasure maps, shotgun, I'm not even using that right now. Wait, does that have any shells in it? No. Okay. Oh yeah, flashlights. No point really. Rocket launcher parts. Yeah, no, no this. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, repair our magnum because it is pretty wrecked at the moment. The frame in this one is better than the one in our gun. I'm all like hesitant on it, like I don't have a ton of it, like backup and extra parts everywhere. Kind of save me some repair kits, I guess. I should use a repair kit on that. It'll drop its level, but uh, it'll be alright. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and use those. Pair my uh, gloves up. Get them to 5.92. I can dig that. treasure maps in there because that's a I assume it's kind of what that is quest treasure maps that seems like a good spot for it let's go peek the uh, garden real quick see where we're at on this yeah, we're doing all right not too much longer I need to get uh, I need to get some cotton growing I'll probably just fill that thing out I think it was 85 I might have that much cotton I'm not sure Okay, uh, crafting. Neither of those right there, nor that. Do some of that though. Mm. Yeah, for the meantime. Uh, looks like I got smelting stuff over here, so that's good. Do some of that. Um, bullets. In the meantime, I'm going to put all of it away. I'll probably hold on to the magnum. 
Ah, oh, I don't really have much ammo for that. I'll have to pick that up later. I think it's time to kind of like run around with a shotgun though. Maybe I'll use the shotgun and the 9mm pistol like two like super weak weapons. <laughs> I say we go for it. Yeah, I need I need gunpowder real bad. Um, well, I could use a sniper, I guess. I'm just trying to use what I have more ammo of though. Yeah, let's go for it. The AK up. Alright. Got those. That's gonna be rough. Put the uh, crossbow down there at the end for uh, emergencies. Water. I need that golden rod to finish, right? Or so I'll have to drink regular water. That sounds awful. Okay, we're... I probably don't even have repair kits over here. I bet they're all at my... my other base. That's fine. Okay. I have the repair kits that I have at the construction site right now, and I guess that's it for the time being. But I should still be able to get a lot of digging done. I think I've got like 40 of them over there. These all empty. That's like my tool chest. I'm surprised I don't have any in there. Okay, alright. Well, we'll just deal with what we got for the time being. Oh, we're stacked out on, like, food and water. Why am I carrying these pills? I don't know if anyone else does that. <laughs> but sometimes I'll just forget. But I have some... Not, like, forget, but just keep overlooking the fact that I have something like that in my inventory. Oh, I do have the gas in here, right? Yeah, okay, cool. That's another thing I'll have to bring over. Like, 66 barrels of gas is going to last me a really long time. Um, but I don't want to completely use all of that up. I use that if I end up going on like an extended mining trip. It's like, I'll be in the middle of mining and uh, find like a huge deposit of something that I actually need and just like, well, go grab some barrels and come right back. Definitely would have designed this differently now that I've kind of messed around with some other ideas like this in different games. This isn't like too bad, but it, it definitely needs some work. I'm just going to take all that food in there with me. Oh, and I think I have splints in there already, so we should be good. Hopefully, since I've already gotten my like wandering horde and everything like that, I won't get another one for a while. I'm just keeping it in the junk chest. Might as well. It's like I'm gonna be able to spot the food in there pretty easily. And this is just like all the junk we've been getting off zombies as they come through here. Um, basically, we're just a digging right now. So let's take that that. Uh, that and that, just in case. Who knows when you'll ever need your wrench. You may need it at a moment's notice. Um, and I guess the smart thing we would do would be like to place hay bales at the bottom where the spikes are. That would probably be a safe way of going about this. And then I just walk away from that idea. <laughs> That's a safe way to do this. And then we're just going to walk away. I just want to get to work on it. So we've got the, uh, basically, almost got this side mostly sorted out. And I'm going to be doing, uh, well, I might as well hop down there. I'm just about to go work on there. Ow! Oh yeah, my leg sprained. 
I'm going to be filling this wall up with uh, rebar and concrete. That shouldn't take too long, really. Um, so it's not going to be quite this wide. But yeah, basically the the line all the way around this outside right here had to go. This is too far in on this uh, side of the wall. So that's all got to go. And that's what it looks like now. So, good times. Good times. I believe, yep, we stopped right over here. Yeah, this is an attempt to get this base to work one more time. I've tried uh, readjusting this thing a few times and just have not had uh, luck with it. Forgot the repair kit, so we're going to run right back. Um, but yeah, I was pretty bummed because I definitely put a lot of time into this thing and I do like it. This is. Um, this is like my first attempt at doing like a funnel style build. And it looks nice. <laughs> it just doesn't quite work. There. Okay, so I've only got 36 left. But... Hopefully that'll uh, get us some good work in here. Oh yeah, and I would totally do this different as well. I used a corner block here, uh, one of the corner catwalks, and basically it just makes uh, these not meet up because these bars are on the outside, and the corner catwalk they're actually placed on top visually. Um, but basically, if you don't have anything you're building out here, you might as well just use a square catwalk and then put the iron bars on either side, and then they'll meet up all the way around. The corner will be the odd-looking spot, but it won't be too bad. Where are we at? I'm just going to go ahead and repair it. Do you ever repair this thing and then get the sensation that you've just scrapped it on accident? Because <laughs> I have almost uh, scrapped this thing once before. Ow. Let me take its peek real quick. See if I see anyone down here yet. Or already, I guess. I think we're good. That's not like a super thorough check or anything, but I think we're alright. Please, at least stop them a little. <laughs> if you play this game, you kind of know how useless that is. It wouldn't really do much. Alright. Oh my gosh, that was like loud all of a sudden. I guess I hadn't, uh... If the block's right in your face, it, I mean, it makes sense. It is a lot louder. The farther you get away from your character, the quieter it is. Grab those barrels out of my mini bag. Sometimes I just get like really caught up in wanting to work on this. I'm like, well, I guess really, really whatever project I'm doing at the time. It's like, oh yeah, I actually need this. Oof. I don't know why. It's, it's only on the inside wall too. It's so weird. And it's not like, you know, it's it should have no effect on any of the structural integrity of anything, so like the outside the outside wall all the way around is totally fine, but this is all weird. Grab those gas barrels. 
Alright, so we're good up to here. Just trying really hard not to uh, fall into our own spike pit. Still trying to figure out what I want to do about uh, the ramp blocks there. Initially, I thought the pit itself was just not wide enough, um, and that's why the zombies were kind of falling in here, not really uh, making it into the central part of the base. But really, what it is is I think this top row, the one right above me, was too far in on the wall. Because the base that I built in the Hub City, the at least like the part, the funneling part of it seemed to work. Um, <laughs> it was just the fact that they couldn't make it up to the top. <laughs> like I, I've talked about it before, but I I do think it was like one uh, one cop and one dog, you know, throughout the entire horde night actually made it to the top of uh, that base. <laughs> it was uh, it was kind of interesting. Did I miss that one? I guess so. It's kind of interesting. It's been it's been a while since I've dug in this fashion. It's a lot easier if you just like have the whole thing planned out and you dig it out all at once. But like going in to have to shave off like one layer like this is a little bit weird. At least it's like. At least it's pretty easy to stand on top of like the blocks as you go down. Like having to build some type of uh, like scaffolding or something like that would be kind of irritating. It'd probably be a lot safer, but <laughs> kind of irritating. I'll take some of that coal though. I do need that. And I do think I've got like. Um, 500, another 500, 762 rounds and 44 rounds at my other base over by the hub city, so we'll head over there at some point. Ooh, that was a little bit too far. Whoa. Whoa. Wait, what did I do? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was a uh, mistake. <laughs> I did not need to dig that far out. I was like, <laughs> I was just looking at it and I was like, wait, wait, this is not right. Come on. Come on. It's gonna be tricky when I get down to uh, all those fancy wood spikes I got there. 
I might have to uh, watch out for that. Let's see, I'll be right here. Yeah, most likely I'm gonna hit those. Oh yeah, and here at some point, we should go uh, drop off the iron that we're getting right here, and go put that in the uh, forge. Start like I don't have much iron stacked up in there right now. I think I only left it on for like 45 minutes, you know, with a full stack of uh, iron and like 1,500 clay. But I should still be able to like craft off some more uh, rebar. It would probably be a good time to head back and uh, check the garden as well. I would really like to get all that cotton planted. Oh, my dude's freezing? Oh, we don't have time for this right now. Working in our boxers now. I'm sure we'll be much warmer than in our shorts and t-shirt. <laughs> Seven days logic. <laughs> you will totally be warmer. They did fix that on PC. I thought that was really cool. But basically, there's like no negative effects from wearing clothing. Oh, we're out of gas. Oh, I guess we go back now. <laughs> yeah, we're super close. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go up right here so we don't bonk on the top here. Still kind of did anyway. Why can't I? Because I put a frame over myself. Oh my gosh. Well, good call, me. <laughs> that was a good idea, but it uh, works better if you remember that you have done so. Just a thought. Right. I take the snow in this game. I think it looks really cool. I probably should grab that puffer coat, to be honest. Like, why not? That's like it's out here snowing. The game fog is no joke. It'll be pretty much like persistently precipitous <laughs> uh, for the rest of this time. But I'm until I, you know, close the game down and reload it. Not as bad over here, though. Uh oh, what is that? It's either frame loss from me looking through the center of the base, or it's because zombies are spawning. It's hard to tell. The fog makes it really hard to tell. Oh, I have a flashlight on here. Where you at? Where you at? I hear him. Or I just heard some. I definitely hear them. Where are they? There we go. Hey, there we go. Let me just turn the body helmet. Oh, dang. This thing is not bad. Oh, they're all talking trash on this thing. I, mean, I guess you do have to hit him in the face. I just kept hitting that dude on his shoulders either side. They 
just love tearing up my barbed wire. Okay, so, as much as I feel that thing is pretty awesome, maybe not the best thing for uh, all these speedies. Maybe. Oof. That hitch does not help. Uh, saw it off. Go! Good job! <laughs> I think I broke the ground though. Oh man! I don't see. Okay, well, she got stunned at least, but it was delayed. It's like, how do you take it? A shotgun, you know, blast directly to the face. Like, how is that a thing? That is like the one, like, guaranteed annihilator of any zombie. Oh man, they're so fast. You basically have to be like, yeah, right in front of them. Basically like pointing the uh, barrel at their nose here to get them to die. But I should get some slugs. And if I get some more uh, gunpowder supplies and stuff, I should probably make some slugs. Yeah, if you don't get them right in the face, they just eat these rounds. Oops. No, I got the guy in the back. Oh. Me and my, like, broken leg, I shouldn't just be, like, trying to hop over all these crawlers. Boy. Oh man, just like catching them on the uh, offbeat of their sway. Man, maybe this thing isn't as good as I thought. How did I kill those other zombies so quickly? Alright. Is that everybody? That's super weird. It looks like it did when it was sand here. Very interesting. We're going to clean these up with the auger. You know, with all that gas we've got in our inventory. Sorry for the uh, flashing of the screen. I guess with the snow it's going to be kind of weird. Moving the uh, corpses here. I don't think there's too many more. And forever on that barbed wire. One of my spikes. Okay, I think that was it. Unless some of them fell, like, uh, either down here, which doesn't really look like, or into the, uh, spike pit over here. And see, I used to have, I used to have iron bars right here on this wall instead of, uh, the flagstone. But it seemed like, I thought that was what the zombies were doing, was trying to run through it because they could see through it. Uh, but I'm hoping removing this will help. And if it does, I might even try installing, like, iron bars on one of the four sides of the base and see if it makes a difference or not. We're freezing. Okay, there we go. Puffer coat is on, all is well. We will be boiling hot here in just a few moments. Where did we leave off at? There. <laughs> Easy enough.
Ooh. Gotta wash hitting those ones over my feet. Let me, um, already have dealt with the Wandering Horde. That should be good now. And I keep saying that. It's like, I just had a Wandering Horde, I should be good now. And then I get another one. Maybe I should just stop saying that. Why am I carrying all this stuff? Drop it, drop it, drop it. 6,000, okay, cool. Just making sure that I wasn't uh, dropping any stone or iron yet. I'm having all that extra junk in my inventory. I could have swore I just heard a screamer, and I really hope that's not the case. Like, I'm a little bit nervous about it, because, like, uh, I've been playing on the online, you know, files for a while. Mainly just, like, private servers, but, uh, screamers show up really, really fast <laughs> when you're online. In here, it's like, when I was digging in the hub city, like, I would literally dig four hours, like, straight, and not see a screamer show up. And it's like, I've already done a ton of digging down through here and have not had one show up yet. This is going to be where it gets tricky. Let's see if I can make it around here without actually uh, getting all messed up by my own spikes here. I might as well go ahead and craft another barrel. I'm going to need that gas very soon. Digging all this iron, this is a good time. Like, I have a bunch of scrap iron, steel, and forged iron, um, but I didn't have any raw iron. Oof. It's like, I did bring over like 4,000 steel though. <laughs> I just need a little bit of iron to make rebar while I'm here. Oh, see, I told you, I'm like boiling out now. Take that back off. Did I break that? I don't think so. I'm gonna break it though, because it's so worn down. If I would have brought some cobblestone with me, I could have repaired it, but if it's really like almost broken like that, I don't like to leave it. Okay, okay. So here's the decision. Well, we still need to go down and... Well, do we still need to go down at least one more on this side? Honestly, I'm thinking about leaving these ramps, because that's like, that's kind of a lot of concrete. I know like the reason I'm doing all this is to uh, make up for the fact that I cut corners originally. But it's like if they do fall on that, I mean, that ledge is going to give them something to stand on. That's the only issue. 
If I made it just a wall going straight up. I can't though. Because of where this needs to be. I could move all the pillars over one block <laughs> throughout the entire base. You know, the, uh, the spike pit that goes around the entirety of the base here. So we're just going to do from here on up. Now right here, once we get to right there, uh, we need to finish up that back wall. And this is going to, because like if zombies fall down in there, like I don't want them just like digging around, breaking everything. I should have done this in two sections though. So. Basically I could have just like walked along this row, took off the last block that I needed, and then like come down right over here and just kept doing this, you know? I probably should have brought some concrete with me. Um, you know, while I'm out here right now, like I've got it over in the chest there. Um, oops. But I'm going to. Oh, 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 oh geez, oh geez, oh geez. <laughs> All right, well, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Just like looking over the edge. Curiosity, man. I can grab the rest when I get down there. Um, let's go ahead and refuel and repair this real quick. Oh my goodness, okay. What was I saying? <laughs> oh yeah, this wall here. Um, I am going to take this out. And I thought it would probably open the base up a little, but it's solid concrete on the other side of that. Well, it's actually like, I think redwood blocks. <laughs> the concrete's just in the corner. I think that's how we did that. I can definitely say it's been really interesting coming back to this base after so long. There are many stairs and ladders <laughs> all over the place. Oh, is this one already good? If I could let that. Oh no, we're good. But yeah, yesterday especially, I was playing a little bit last night, just kind of re-familiarize myself with this file, and uh, I may have gotten a little lost in my base and turned around. go and so now we can just like we could probably just finish this wall out which I probably should do right away uh, just go ahead and throw up all of the rebar right here and this is just gonna have to stay this way unless I wanted to put the wall out another level at which point I should have just like brought it down but um, I think the width of the wall is good uh, the width of the uh, trench here is better for being one farther back so I'm just gonna hope they don't land up here, and if they do, hopefully the wooden spikes will kill them. Okay, this time we did not put a frame above our head. carry so many frames on my character. So I just love the way this base looks. <laughs> it's so much fun. I just wish it worked. I'm like, I'm pretty hopeful, but you know, I'm not trying to be like too like hopeful, I guess. 
um, that this will fix it. I'm just, I would really, really like that to be the case. Okay. It's all construction related stuff. So there's really not much. Um, I just kind of have this junk chest. Yeah, 166 coal, that's not bad. Three arrows. Oh, that's right, that's right, that's right. I'm kind of like really used to having uh, that regular bow on me. Like in my other save files, I only use the exploding crossbow bolts, or the crossbow, I guess, on Horde Knight. Hey there, Missy Mermaid. How's it going? Uh, what are we looking at? We just need a little bit of food. That to warm us up. Um, well, just kind of, like, I, I don't know if you were here for the Horde Knight or not, uh, but I took care of that. Got everything cleaned up. Um, and then we kind of came out to the wreck out at the prison right now. I'm just kind of getting things squared away on that. I want to run the resources back, but that's it. I don't think I really need anything else. Doing what you got to do? Right on. I can dig it. Alright. We're gonna make a quick trip. I do like the way this looks. Out the, uh... The front window of the guard shack. <laughs> Fun stuff. How are the repairs going? Um, I am stuck on a ladder. All right, here we go. Uh, they are going. I've added a bit more work onto it. Uh, I mean, I could have just like moved it back one and called it on that, but I just, I really think it's about time to actually give this base the attention it deserves and finish it properly. So I'm gonna do concrete all the way up the pits. Probably not entirely necessary, but. Uh, it will help from zombies getting caught on those blocks. So far, looks like we kind of have most of what we need to get all this done. They're never really finished. Well, if this one doesn't work, it's finished. <laughs> I'll be cutting it. Um, oh, that's cool. You can actually see the... Uh, get a little bit closer. Oh, now it's not going to load them in. There we go. You see the light towers out here. That's pretty fun. It's a good time. Anyway. Yeah, I like this base. I mean, it's cool and all. But, if it doesn't work, then all the aesthetic appeal in the world will not make it any better. I'm trying to just get in there and do things that are going to make this thing function. I don't have a bunch of junk in the mini bike, do I? Now we're good. Alright, let me peek at the uh, garden real quick, see if anything is, if this is finished yet. I still need a little time. Alright. Well, how's this thing doing? We let it burn for a while. Yeah, we can just cap it and restart it. Do I have a name for this one? Um, for like the base? Uh, let's let that go for a while. Oh, uh, the prison base? <laughs> that's that's the name for it.
Oh, the one I'm in right now. Uh, this one is called uh, the the crafting base. <laughs> uh, it was made for crafting, and that's just what it'll do. <laughs> um, but yeah, fancy. I know, right? Yeah, I know how to come up with a good name for sure. <sighs> All right. Um. I really just don't have a whole lot, do we? I'm gonna have to head back to grab that ammunition sometime. Like, I've got, I have a ton of 9mm, maybe I just kind of rely on that for a bit. Maybe use the SMG for a little while. You know what, I bet I have a, uh, didn't I pick up, I oh, know I picked up some pistols. Let me turn my money, oh my goodness, the flashlights are too much. I think it's too bright. I should have a low-level pistol in here. I could take the parts off and fix mine real quick. It'd be cool if there's like a, a completely disassemble button. You just like click on it, it takes all the parts off. Yeah, why do I have... I have a flashlight on like all of the guns, I don't know. I don't know what's up with that. Apparently I thought it was a good idea. Maybe look at this thing. BAM! <laughs> oh my gosh! That's so blinding! And that's our mining helmet. And, uh, and that's nothing. <laughs> that's rough stuff. Um, Alright, there's our repairs on here. I'm gonna put it back on there. It's like, but why? Why do I have these things? And it's like, nah, I'll just put it back. Okay. I keep, I just really keep hoping there's gonna be repair kits in there. But anyway, I believe we got what we need. I'm gonna go ahead and. Grab a few more of those, and these should be eh, three minutes. Do we need anything? Do we need food and water? No. Hey, we're actually good on food and water. Good job, me. Hmm. Need a uh, military vest. Let's repair it. Let's see, right now it's at 60, 63 for concussive and puncture. 90, 95, yeah. Totally worth the loss in level for that. All right, well, we got a few, uh, we got a few usable items here. Most of our armor's looking all right. Dude is super stoked to be by the fire right now. Warms them up inside. Yeah, I do like this little base. This uh, Basically, the whole thing is just for crafting. Um, kind of just ended up leaving this open. It was kind of neat, I thought. Not sure why the uh, rain comes through the ceiling, but that's a thing. Um, and yeah, found out vending machines only work with multiple players. Except for the ones at the trader. The ones at the traders work just fine. Yeah, NPCs will come by and gather up your goods slowly over time. Oh my goodness, this, I was like, yeah, this won't take very long. I'll just like wait for it. I've run out of patience. But I'll probably be coming back here shortly, so. <laughs> Should also probably use a uh, bandage, but yeah, now. We'll be alright. We'll be fine until uh, we get some more food in this. I was really hoping this would be done. Uh, it's not done yet. It's like I could either look to the door or I guess I could go up top here, right? That hollow is looking good though. Oh wait, are those popping right now? 
No. Almost got excited. Alright. Watch at the construction site. Your range to be able to reach that door is amazing. He's out here in his boxers and a gas mask. The mining helmet, he's good. To be fair, he does have military boots, leg armor, uh, chest armor, <laughs> and gloves on. But uh, completely without. Believe me, I have many plenty uh, brass. Like early game, I definitely I try not to scrap brass if I don't have to. But uh, oh, that's bright. But later on, I will end up doing so. Um, like right now, this dude has uh, I don't even. Hey, lady. Okay, so this is the, this is one of the issues with building at a POI, right? Uh, it's because zombies can like totally spawn right in here. It's a, hey, don't hit the boss. I can't make those blocks. If you break them, I gotta replace them with flagstone. Where's this guy? Did he fall down? To the bottom? Because if that's the case, that is good. See that? He's on that side. Let's go ahead and hop up here real quick. Ah. Go and get rid of her real quick. Oh, and close the door if there's any more spawn here. Do it! Okay, I can't tell if he's down there or not. That blood stain on the wall might not come out. Yeah, <laughs> that is true. Oh, yeah, he's here. Oh, man! Do you see how much damage I did to my own wall? This is why I don't use the shotgun around my base. I'm awful with this thing. It's dangerous. I'll kill some zombies, but I will also destroy my base in the process. <laughs> I'll have to repair that stuff. I just need to bring the cobblestone over here. <laughs> I got skills, yo. Okay, so we found those two. Hopefully there are no more. Where does this go? Let's go inside. How the heck do I get outside? How does that other thing? Okay, okay, we got this. How is this one set up? See, so much of this is me having to relearn how to get around this base. It's, uh... Slightly a mess. That way's not gonna work, so that just goes up to the top. Ah! <laughs> Where am I? You guys don't let me out. <laughs> okay. Okay. We're good. I've now learned a valuable lesson in navigation of this base. Um, I think that's probably it. Doesn't look like anybody fell all the way down. That light doesn't actually reach, that's fine. Is anyone down there either? We shouldn't be on that side because that side's all foggy and whatnot. Foggy and rainy. Now that we're done with those dudes, um, Let's go ahead and get ourselves set up to finish this first pit. Dude, you can't just hang out over there. Where are you going? Uh oh, no bullets. Reload. There we go. There we go. 
Well, there's, I guess there's no spikes right there. Oh, that actually hit him from there. Nice. Alright, let me, let me go deal with that real quick. Yeah, and that's why, like, building at a POI may not be the best of ideas. Oh, here we go. Old school spike pit setup. Where are you, zombie? Oh, dang. Oh, I thought he was going for the door. I was like, oh, that dude's super smart. Good job, zombie. No. I keep thinking he's gonna go. Oh. That's interesting to watch his AI kind of try to sort this out. Okay, so he finally decided he could get to me here. Oh, but I'm like close to that door. Okay. Sorry. Um, testing zombie AI is kind of interesting. Just kind of see what happens. That's really like, I hadn't really thought of it the other day, but someone said it to me like this, like you're having to build for the zombies, right? And so you're kind of building to make sure that, I don't know, you have to set up the base in such a way as they'll fall into it or, you know, whatever, however you've got it set up. So you have to build according to their AI's capabilities. Very, very interesting. Uh, oh, cowboy black leather. Maybe I wear that instead. Whenever I put on the puffer coat, I start heating or overheating. Let's carry both of those. We should be fine. So a rebar, a rebar. Water doesn't go in here. Probably don't need those. That should be good for now. Um. Oh yeah, yeah. Cobblestone. Where's that stuff? And oops, I went absolutely the wrong way for that. I'll make about thirty of these for right now. I mean, I guess that's uh, how much I picked up, isn't it? Okay, we should be good now. I think that is everything, and I'm also not carrying two coats, so there. I have lied to myself. Food and water, we're good. Let's go. Yeah, that's that's why I keep all the doors shut. <laughs> I give myself a little bit of time to find the zombies if they decide to spawn like inside the base, right? Because I mean, it's still a prison. Um, there's still a ton of the original blocks from the POI in here, so uh, they will absolutely spawn on some of them. So, kind of unfortunate, but, you know, this whole base was about lessons learned, right? That's, uh, what I feel it was for me. I was learning all kinds of stuff. Oof, it's close. Alright, so yeah, we're almost done with this one. Basically, we are done with this section right here, so I am actually just going to do this right now. Really glad that I have my nail gun on me. Um, I did not think about that until I just <laughs> went to go put these rebar on my belt, these frames here. Because this has no like structural integrity value associated with it. It's like I don't have to worry about the gravel being there. This is just a wall. And that's doing just fine all by itself holding up there so you can totally get away with it but in general like having gravel and stuff around your builds is not too good Just catch that up right now. Cool. 
see. Uh, okay, we got those wood spikes here. Now let's do this. I'll refill these back out. That is just in case any zombies fall down this away. This should take care of them. And it does need to go down one. Alright. <clears throat> so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just finish this inside wall right now. Um, that way, if any zombies fall in here while I'm working, I mean, they're much more prone to fall in here while I'm working than during a horde night. Um, of course, I guess they're coming for me down here. But uh, if that's to happen, I don't want them, like, digging out this inside wall. This goes right into the base itself, so I gotta take care of that. That's kind of interesting. Turn on the uh, light in my room here. Gonna wee bit dark. Did I miss one? No. Okay. And the battle with the uh, jacket is begun. I guess if I probably wore the puffer coat and the shorts and t-shirt, <laughs> that would work a lot better. Let me do this. So I don't fall off. <laughs> I've already fallen in the spikes once today. I don't want to do that again. Which reminds me I need to go pick up those wooden frames. I guess I can do it when I get down there. Because I also will be running a, uh, another set of spikes. Right? Okay, game. What's up? Alright, the game just froze for a sec. Um, so I'm going to take this wall out right here. I'm going to have another row of spikes placed down, and then this back wall right here will be the uh, next project for the concrete. If I think about it correctly, this can actually be wood. So we're going to do that. All about uh, saving those resources. to be interesting really fast, I think. Oh no, now we're good. Okay. I was just thinking about my way out, if I hang out down here, uh, if I keep going this way, and don't leave myself a stack of frames to get back down on. Uh, but really, I can just build like a, you know, a couple frames out on the wall there, and I'll be at the top so I can just step out of it. Good times. Yeah, I have started picking up that habit a bit uh, with buildings. It's like, oh, see, right here, this one as well. And the corners, like, it doesn't really, it doesn't, you know, really provide much structural integrity to anything hanging over. And there is nothing hanging over. These are just walls, um, so the zombies can't attack it, and it will not be visible to anyone looking at the pit. So it's not worth wasting the rebar and concrete on it. I guess it's only like it's only one block, but it's gonna be what like 30 layers, and then I guess it's one block for each corner, right? So I'll be doing the same thing in that corner, this corner, uh, the other outside corner there. 
It's like what, 120 per pit? Roughly. These are up a few blocks, so it's gonna be a little different. But it does add up. I should really just count that out, you know. <laughs> It'd give me a lot less uh, stress for getting around the corners here. too bad. Oh, did the fog clear up? I just can't really tell a whole lot. Still haven't counted this out. Just living on the edge over here. Better watch it though, they're gonna send some uh, zombie inspectors to check us out. We are not complying to the generally accepted standards for construction in this game. I should turn around after 14. I finally did it. <laughs> Boy, come here. Gotta check and see how we're doing on concrete. Forgot to look at exactly how much I brought down here with me. I bet I brought four. So we used like 2300 already. Yep, I'm gonna need to bring some more concrete with me. And it's not too bad though because I do have uh, basically a full chest back at my other base. I think tonight after I'm done streaming here, I will I just kind of do like that. Just kind of cart some materials back and forth. Cause it's like, it, it's a long trip just to get to the other base and back. I made like two of those on stream today, so uh, maybe I can like make a couple more off stream and save you all the, I don't know, tedium. <laughs> Oh geez, what the? Oh, it's an invisible frame. It's actually there. Like, the game knows it's there. Oh, there we go. Finally popped up. <laughs> but uh, I went to go jump on it, and uh, the game was not having it. Items definitely have the ability to both exist and not exist simultaneously in this game, and it's very weird, and it is very confusing for the game. Oops. 
probably a bit easier than having to like return or turn around every time I do that. I just kind of keep following the corner around. I do know this was a stack of 500 frames. Oops, wasn't counting that time. I did not realize I would be putting this many up. When I first brought all my resources out here, I was like, oh, I'll just need some to like do the top portion, because uh, I'm going to take this back and then you know, just need a few for the top there, here and there. Nope. Looking at the issues I had and decided to do it right, I guess. Still good for a bit yet. We can get down to, if I brought 4,000 concrete, then we can upgrade 400 frames. Um, so we have a few more that we can place before we need to hop up top. Not counting. Whoa, 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 whoa. Same deal. Visible block placed. The game is really confused, so kind of bounce my character around for a sec. And generally, you can fix that by just like placing a frame next to it. Alright, so this will be the last set that we can lay down. Some more of that good stuff. Ah, come on. There we go. Ooh. Oh, hey, the fog took off. Nice. Yeah, it seems like when I'm playing, uh, well, I guess it kind of does that when I'm playing online. It doesn't seem to really go away when I'm on the online setup. Oh, cool. Wandering Horde spawning in. One, two, three, four. Let's get our weapons ready. Stop kind of looking at it happen without preparing for it. Are y'all coming yet? I really hope y'all ain't coming yet. There they are! Alright, yeah, this is going to be fun. Look how many of them there are. Let's go ahead and get our uh, shotguns a roll in here. Like, slows them down. Uh, also, hits many of them at once, which is really nice. And this is why for like the longest time I never ran shotguns. Because you know, I do this and it's just like, they don't do anything to these zombies. This is a sawed off, maybe the uh, long barreled worker a little better in this situation. Um, oh jeez, I needed to reload. But yeah, if you get the sawed off right up there though, it does a pretty decent job. I really should take a bandage, you know, just in case. And this lady coming up behind me. I had all three of those shots in this because, you know, we've got good aim. And 
this thing really doesn't do a whole lot either. So basically I'm out here with like the uh, the worst weapons for doing this. I could be using my uh, you know like a regular bow or something I guess. Well the regular bow is not bad. If you actually get headshots with this thing though, it's pretty decent. You still gotta land a lot of shots on them to get it to uh, do anything, but it's not too bad. It does, it does a thing. Oh, and that's not bad. Hey, what are you doing? Where'd you come from? Don't tell me you spawned behind me. <laughs> oh, really? All right, party over. You're stubborn. My goodness. Tommy's all spraying my leg. Oh, I'm stuck on too many bodies. Ah. It's not worth using any more exploding bolts. But these dudes have a jillion hit points. Three times damage, all over. Jeez. Alrighty. <laughs> so yeah, these uh like later game wandering hordes, no joke. Alright, what do we got here? Sprain leg, my goodness, King, please. Sprain leg and nothing to uh, repair it with at the moment. Just need a bit of cloth. I'm gonna keep that exploding crossbow on me. You never know. Oh, I thought there was a body right here. Hey, some vitamins. Oh, wait. <laughs> I have max wellness, it doesn't matter. Alright, let's uh, go ahead and start eating some of this delicious goodness. Yeah, some salmon. And a couple of those. Some miso soup. Good time. So we'll I'll slowly get our hit points back up. Oops, I totally just dropped that iron. There we go. Ah! Okay, I guess I'm picking it all up. Let's just pick it all right back up. Let's just go for it. Some more vitamins. Damn it. There's no point. There is absolutely no point in doing that. Alright. Oh, really? It's gonna give us a 600 pistol? Durability 93, durability 85. So let's just uh, switch those out there. Alright. Thanks, brother. Everybody bringing sham sandwiches back. I'm trying to have a sandwich party.
my goodness. Everybody has like those cans of like beef or chicken rations in the uh, sham sandwich. It's like it's a lot of good food. Honestly, I should probably be like hanging on to some of it so that I could uh, eat it if I needed to while I was here. But I did bring like a ton of food over, so. But we're alright. I thought I saw a body over here. Watch, is it gonna disappear? Now you get into the snow. It's like, it's a cool effect. I do like it. But uh, sometimes it makes it really hard to find the bodies. This is not so bad. And it goes back down. And when I go into the snow biome, it goes back up. <laughs> I should probably stop messing with the game. <laughs> Game's like, stop it. It's hard to load all this in and keep changing it, the weather back and forth. It's probably like the main issue with having... Uh, like a portion of this base in the snow biome. So just this back corner really. And then the base across the street, not at all. Uh, and then the base right here is entirely in the snow biome. Hmm, probably need to get some of those down. And we got all kinds of junk. And we now have to drop off Thanks to our wandering horde. They decided we, they needed to bring us tons and tons of useless things. Am I carrying my splints and not using them? Because that's pretty silly. I'm not. But my uh, splints are in the construction chest, right where they should be. I'll uh, just drop that for now. Some of that. That can just go away. And we just need some concrete. Oh, water. Why do I have like the zombies do hook it up with the water? Like I generally am not worried about running out of water at any point. Thanks to the zombies, they keep me going. Ninety degrees. All right, put those back on. See if we can find a balance. Okay. I always have splints on hand. When doing construction work, or at least I generally do, I guess. I am extremely prone to falling, and like this happens to be a long ways down. <laughs> That's definitely a uh, a broken leg, and I have I have done that. we do it? I didn't bring the splints with me. Should I do... Uh... Oops. <laughs> We're fine. Alright, so now we are going to be overheating. I tried to balance the uh, puffer coat with the t-shirt and shorts, but it didn't work. But I was super glad that the uh, wandering horse spartan ball was up top and not while I was down here. That was uh, very kind of them. Oh, that's right. I stopped like partway through. Yeah, stopped partway through right here. But because of that, this is all dry already, which is nice. It can also be a little rough on the game if you have like a uh, ton of frames drying at the same time. Sometimes doing it in sections is a little bit easier on the console. Oops. Is the fog back? 
I don't get this game. <laughs> Fog is super hardcore, absolutely no joke. Is that it? Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Trying to see if I get the feel of it without like having to turn around. Yeah, I think this is gonna make the base look a lot better. Um, should hopefully keep the zombies taken care of out here. Because I did, I did concrete walls uh, from surface to bedrock inside the main pit. I just didn't do it out in uh, the exterior pits here. I mean, because the idea is that the zombies wouldn't fall down in here. So, They're like, what's the point? But they do fall down in here, so that's the point. I need this to have enough durability to outlast them beating on the wall until I am able to come find them. Oh, I missed upgrading one of those. Alright. We're really close now. The sand is kind of like the marker to being super close to the top. How many layers is that? One, two, three, four, five. And I think that top layer right there is the sixth layer of it. Um, but yeah, you don't have a whole lot of space once you get up to the sand. I'll have to check that one when I go back. <laughs> I think I might have missed another one. Oops. Whoa! That was weird. You are just like bouncing up in the air. There's nothing there. <laughs> I don't know why it happened. Uh, I don't know, it's pretty proud that I, I haven't upgraded one of the wooden frames yet. <laughs> Got great uh, nail gun skills here, although I can't like count very well while talking, so... <laughs> okay, I think it's just me clipping on this corner, like I'm going across it at too sharp of an angle. Yeah, there it is. That's all. Just that weird moment where the game quite, can't quite figure out where your character is supposed to be, or where they actually are, I guess. Yeah. 
So on the last two rows here that we have, um, I am going to do them at the same time because you are not going to fit in a one block hole. And this, I'll just I'll end up doing that whole set next time. Uh, I still need to take that whole wall back another layer. So this is going to be a bit slower. So we'll do that. So that. At least you can move pretty quickly up into this point. There probably is a uh, better way to do this, I would assume. I guess if I just had like a scaffolding set up around the outside there. That might actually work. I mean, we might as well try it, right? Can we reach that? Then we are going to have to take the thing down, though. Yeah, that's gonna be that's not gonna be fun. Next time, I'll have to think about that for the next pit. Try to set something up like that. Cause if I could stand across and just you know walk left to right and lay down the frames and then upgrade them on the way back, then that'd be golden. that I have enough concrete on me. How much do I have? Um, I can do 21 more. We're not going to make it. Son of a gun. <laughs> oh well. It seems like everything just got like a bit, I don't know, smoother, a little bit clearer. <laughs> The game seems to be kind of lagging out there for a second, and then everything just seems to be really responsive. Oops. Gotta work on my uh, timing for that. Ah, yeah! There it is. Knew it. Knew it. How close we are. How? Dude. Shut up, barbed wire. So close. Oh, please tell me there aren't more zombies. And I gotta stop doing this. I keep jumping down on a different side, so I keep, like, stacking up all these frames. <laughs> Here, let me deal with that real quick. It's like this method works really well for just like picking up two stacks of frames. Man, this is really laggy. We don't have uh, zombies hanging around. Yep, there they are. Where are y'all at? Got those. Yep, definitely have some down there. That's good. This lady lost her legs, so not too bad. Man, he's just unfazed. Nope. I am totally phased. Bleeding out. Did I get the uh, beer? Nope, not yet. Alright. Let's go ahead and do some of that. Man, these ladies are no joke. Basically just like unfazed by most of that. Like nine millimeter piece of pistol. <laughs> Whatever. She just comes running. Oh, 
Oh, no, 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 no. Well, I mean, she's on her way in. Well, all right, well, we'll let her do that. Let's go ahead and get all of these folks together. Kind of just get a few stacked up together. Kind of wish I had that shotgun available at the moment. My goodness, look at them all. Alright, that went all around her. There we go. You catch them on the way down, it's a good feeling. <laughs> that lady, uh, her legs are kind of sticking out there. Just the legs, nothing else. I can see you crawl around with no arms, dude. Do I have all my points into these skills? Uh, wrong set. Alright, pistols 89, maxed out on all its points. 100, 100, all maxed out on all their points. Gotcha. Still a few down there. Gotta be careful not to hit that glass road. I'd be very, very upset with myself. Okay. My goodness. Just wanna like wrap things up here and uh the zombie horde coming at me. Actually, what am I doing? I don't need this. Where's my auger? <laughs> dig him up, Just dig him up, dig him up. fine for a while. Excuse me. Uh, and that does not go in there. Unless this is just junk. are going to finish this wall. It's like this internal one. And then we will be good to go after that. Hey, my leg's healed. Alright, alright, I get it. Too close to the barbed wire. Gotcha. Um... I just get nervous. I get nervous with the exploding crossbow on. The thing is no joke. You know what? Why am I taking these up? I'm gonna have to use these to get out of here.
Ooh, that's the one I want to use. So I broke the barbed wire on this side. Ugh. Right next to this one, so that you don't get hurt by it. Sweet! Got the thing all finished up. I uh, can't really tell because, you know, fog. <laughs> yeah, service to bedrock. Yeah, I do like that. Um, like I should have done that originally. Um, and I will be doing this wall, like the exterior wall as well. But it's like, this whole base, this whole base is, you know, surface to bedrock concrete, you know? Why would I skimp on the corners out here? This is like the smallest part of the whole base, and uh, this is where I cut the corners. Mm. No more of that. Yeah. So this is pit one of four that we will be working on. And so this is my basically my last chance to fix this base and see if it will function properly. And if that's the case, cool. It will get its own video in the base designs. Oh, are they still down there? I never went down there, did I? I guess we can like end the stream down there. I do like the way the uh, I mean, the whole base looks pretty neat. I'm just not a fan of building in inside POIs anymore. <laughs> Zombies spawn in here. Although if I threw down a land claim block or something, I should be able to kind of prevent that from happening. Maybe just like stick a land claim block in the center of this thing. Um, yeah, let's just do the auger. Hey, vitamins! Oh! We still have someone alive down here. Hey! Stop beating on the door! If you don't hit them in the head, this gun is all kinds of useless. 15 rounds. 15 rounds to the back. After he's already taken damage from being down here. There we go. Delete you. Yeah, he took all the fall damage, probably landed on some spikes, and I still took 15 rounds to the back. <laughs> uh, you really gotta hit him right in the face with that pistol, or it doesn't really do anything. Yeah, can we reach? No. But, interesting thing about the spike is you can uh, you can hit it like right there without doing any damage. It's like, you don't do damage, you don't take damage like on this part. It's kind of like, well, I mean, up at the tip, so that makes sense. But, there's that weird trick, that glitch that people know of that you can, uh, if you flip them upside down, uh, they still do damage even on the flat side of the spike, which I think is kind of weird. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's why I try to keep all of the doors shut. <laughs> they do like to, uh, if they fall down in here, of course they head straight for them. But yeah, this is a super fun base. I really do like it. Um, like I said, most of the lights had to be turned off. Like if you see up the walls there, I had put up lights all over there. Man, it looks so cool. This base looks super cool until it crashed and I had to go turn them all off. <laughs> Yeah, this is a good time. I do enjoy this base quite a bit. Um, let me see, that the hallway goes to that tower. I need to go... I need to go up to one of the southern towers. But everything is all connected in through here. So you can kind of like, I don't know, pop out here. This isn't like extremely useful, but it is a thing. And this takes you up to what was the second story of the prison. So we've got, we do have some cells left. Not much. But we have the, uh, basically the observation deck here. 
Yeah, I I do like this base a lot. When I load in uh, next time, I'll be on here streaming tomorrow, the same file. But yeah, you'll be able to see everything a lot better. Anyway, well, I am going to go ahead and boogie for the day. I guess kind of leave you with that view of the base. We'll stand on the glass. Why not? <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you all for everyone who's hanging out, watching the stream. Um, everyone who sees this video, uh, like I've been porting these over to YouTube, so uh, anyone sees that as well, I do appreciate it. Um, but yeah, y'all have a good night. Take it easy, and uh, I'll see you soon. All right. Bye.